Good afternoon and welcome to the semifinals, the 13th annual Coldwater Spike Off Classic. We're here for semifinal action, St. Mary's Memorial and Versailles matchup in the opening semifinal match today. My name is Mark Shine, my pleasure to do play by play alongside your color commentary, Chris Newhold. Chris, uh, St. Mary's, probably an upset win, I would think, over Coldwater. Versailles with a win over Ottawa Glandor for this in the first matches today. Right, that first match is always the important one because if you win that one, you're not going to go 0-3 on the day. <laughs> so somebody today is going to go 0-3, and, and there's so many good teams here. Uh, so you go to school on Monday or next week whenever you start, and you're already 0-3. But um, somebody's going to go 3-0, and and St. Mary's played really well. It was a three-set match and a nice win for them. And uh, Versailles here also uh, played pretty well in their first match. St. Mary's is in the black uniforms on the left side of your screen today with the gold trim. Their libero is number six, Ashley Nuss, and she is in the blue and gold uniform. Versailles also in black with a little bit of orange trim today, and they are on the right side of the screen as you view now. And their libero and that would be Brooke Briscoe is in white. Our officials today, Steve Trout is on the stand in this particular match. Paul Offenbacher is on the floor. Beth Edwards and Mike Luff are doing the line judging today. St. Mary's defeated Coldwater, lost the first set 25-21, came back to win sets two and three, 25-21 and 27-25 in the third set. For sales, defeated Ottawa Glendorf 25-18 and 25-19. And Libero will serve first for St. Mary's, Ashley Nuss. It's going to take place. That block, block back in. The block was done by Bryn Clark. Bryn is expected to be one of the top players in the Western Buckeye League this year as she was a second-team all-conference player a year ago. Puts her team up 1-0 early. Well, it's a good way to start, just to not let the ball come across the net. Here's Nuss to serve again. Set's done to 18, that's Bryn Briscoe, and that point will also go to St. Mary's. It's a really good crowd here today, Mark, and our, our camera's not going to be able to show it because they're all sitting on the camera side. But uh, this uh, side over here that is right in front of us is pretty full. It's pretty full when we got here. It's the set again. And the big hit that time by Kristen Baumholt, but it's blocked inbounds. And that's going to be a point for St. Mary's as well. They start 3-0. Two of the three points are on blocks. Opening weekend of high school volleyball, and this one of the premier tournaments every year in the Northwest Ohio, perhaps in the state of Ohio itself. That kill again. This time it's put away by Kristen Baumholt. 3 1 as the serve will go to number 18 for the Versailles Tigers, Bryn Briscoe, the setter. Bryn's a senior. Oh, it's going to be pushed across. Almost a point. And there's a tip across to be a point. That was done by uh, Sierra Graber, 4-1. Back to serve will be Lily Rammel. She's the setter for St. Mary's. Coach Kayla Yoder. Out of the middle again. Get a ball. free ball here. Yeah. Bumped over by Darcy Lyman. That ball is hit into the net by Darcy Lining, and it's not going to be a point for St. Mary's. Instead, it goes to Versailles, and their libero, Brooke Frisco, will go back to serve. She's a 5 4 junior. They are coached by Liz McNeilan. And that's going to be illegal contact. I didn't see what happened no, I didn't there. Either. I didn't catch the official signal, and the point will go to Versailles. St. Mary's using a three-person serve receive. Ball's going to be bumped across by Nuss. Here's the set and the kill, and guess who they're going to go to today? Kristen Baumholt, the senior at 5-9. She put that one away to tie it at four.
It's her second kill already. Neither one of these teams have ever won the cold water spike off. One of them will be in the championship match today. That's right. The ball goes long. They will play the winner of our second semifinal today. That would be the Fort Romney Redskins or the Sandy Redskins. If you're watching on TV and it looks like there's two line judges down here on our left side of the court, it's because Coach Yoder is wearing the almost identical colored shirt that the officials are wearing. This ball's going to be bumped across by Haley Houston and well, being a Versailles point. Yeah, that is one thing I guess we could point out today, uh, Chris. Officials are now the quote, default jersey for officials to wear. It's still the white, but they have the option of wearing this blue colored jersey, which they've chosen to do so today. It's a very good looking blue, too, it I think. A, yeah, I like the way it looks. We're tied at five as Baumholt serves, and that one goes long. It's their second missed serve. Other than that, not much in the way of new rule changes this year. A couple of administrative things that perhaps you'll notice, but nothing of any uh, on the court playing issue type things. Versailles is also using a three person serve receive. Almost every team does use a three person. Once in a while you'll see four or two, but not very often. There's the set. Outside hit. That's going to be a point for Haley Paul Porter. <laughs> Tied at six early on here. And Porter will go back to serve. That serve goes long as she missed the back line. Both of these teams struggled somewhat a year ago. Versailles was 9 and 12. They were 4 and 5 in the MAC conference. St. Mary's was 9 and 16. They were 4 and 5 in the Western Buckeye League. Now they're both starting out 1 and 0 this year. This service attempt by Graceland Johns. Ball's blocked. Big hit by Tori Tayo. Puts a point away for Versailles. And that's her first kill. We're tied at seven. Number 12, Lex Lexi Magato will enter to serve. This hit will be done by Addison Lauf. And Versailles will pick up the point. Magato to serve again. Ribeiro has to bump it across. Us left-handed tip. That's a nice play. That was done by Graceland Johns. Comes the kill attempt. Nope, it's going to be pushed over by Haley Houston. That one's pushed as well. And bumped over by Ribeiro. Tayo gets that point. That was a good choice by Ashley Nuss to pass that over because the first contact could have been thought of as a block because it was right there at the net, but it was not, and she took no chances and passed that on over as opposed to setting it up for someone. Here's Tayo again. That was blocked. And they hit at the net by Loft. This ball will be played across by Houston, and it stayed in. Stayed inside the back line for Haley. She gets her first kill. 9-8 for Sales, and back to serve will be Haley Houston. It's very tough to judge those softer hits that are back near the line. Generally, when it's hit soft, it drops. And mm. uh, when it's hit hard, it continues. But it's just a tough thing to, to judge. That serve comes up short, so it'll be 10-8 for Sales. Back into the match will be number 16, Tessa Stamen. This hit will be by Graber. And that ball comes up short for Tessa Stamen. We've gone through one rotation and back to serve now as Libero actually enough. 10 9 for Sales.
After a couple of fastballs that got points earlier, Christian Baumholt just tips that one across over the blocker. She got three kills already. Back to serve the setter, Bryn Briscoe. The setter for out of bounds. Yep, a nice push over there by Liz Ram Lily Ramble. Ball was played back across and went out of bounds. So they put the score up 11-9, 11-10. Score didn't change. There it is, 11 10. There it was. Service by the setter, Rammel. That hit off the blocker, point for Haley Porter. Two kills now for Haley. And their libero will serve. This is Brooke Briscoe, 5 4 junior. Float serve. And that's going to be double contact as the setter had to make a play on a ramble too close to the net and gets called for double contact. Points are coming pretty quickly. We haven't really seen a, a long volley yet, but I'm sure we will. The ball's tipped across by Clark. And then a hit for a point. That will go to Bomb Holt. They like her in that left corner, don't they? Yeah, she does. Yeah, they do like that. Well, she's got four kills. And we're going to get our first time out. This one will go to St. Mary's as they trail 14-10. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. And on our scoreboard, it shows for sales with an early 14-10 lead, hence the timeout by Kaylee Yoder. But Frisco to serve. Ball sails into the net. You see that a lot, Mark, coming out of a timeout after scoring a points in a row that you want to hit that short zone and catch the receiving team off, off a guard. But... Uh, that time, just, just not quite enough on it to hit that short zone. Sierra Graber to serve for the Rough Riders. Good serve by her. That ball's pushed across and done so illegally by Tessa Stammen. 14-12, so the timeout by St. Mary's is resulted in a couple of points as Graber serves again. Her serve is short and in a good spot. We get net contact, we did. Fourteen thirteen. 13 Graber gets another serve opportunity. Ball set up. That's where you go to, isn't it? Uh, that was a good hit. Yeah. Find Christian Baumholt, the senior, and Need a point, she gets one for you. Yep. Dio steps in the game. She's on a rotation with uh, number 16, Tessa Stammen. Stammen, excuse me. Good hit that time by Bryn Clark. And it comes back across to the back row by Tom Holt. Libero sets this one, and Tayo hits it to the opponent, Libero. And that kill is going to be a point for Haley Porter. A couple of sets that time, Chris, by the Libero, Brooke Briscoe. Well, when the setter has to handle that first ball, she's not allowed to set it then. And what teams have done increasingly recently is to have that setter pass the ball to the libero. And, and in fact, the libero will immediately step into the setting target so she can uh, bump set that ball, usually to one of the outside hitters. Kirsten Baumholt served that ball, and her team's going to get a point from Haley Porter. Well, out wow, Kirsten to serve again. And Porter's got four kills now. She and Baumholt have played well at the net. That four points uh, represents the lead right now for the Versailles Tigers.
High serve. And that kill will go to Haley Houston. Cut the lead to three. Addison Ralph re-enters for the libero. Service by Clark. Short set, hit it wide that time by Taya. Well, St. Mary's is hanging right in there. They get within a point and then maybe back to three or four points, but then they just come right back within a point again. Well, within two right now. Clark to serve. Tayo gets it blocked at the net, popped up. And joust at the net that time. This will be played across by Houston. And then Porter. From the back row, Baumholt. And then missed the sideline, did Haley Houston. Now, Mark, we had a, a joust there earlier in, in that uh, rally right there. Now, there are no held balls anymore. Is that correct? Uh, whoever wins the push, whoever wins the yep. joust. Yeah. At one time, that would be called a held ball for a replay. Not in that, that case there was not, not really a held ball, but uh, some joust would have been back in the day. Baumholt from behind the 10-foot line, missed the back line. Makes it 18-16. And in service will be Graceland Johns. And then she will become the setter. And actually, she didn't set. That ball nope. went to, to ramble again. And that overpass goes across the net and into a great spot for, I think it was Mia Eversoll who put it down to make it 1916. Had a couple of girls there. So I hope I got the right name. Lexi Magato will step in to serve. That will be an ace for her. First ace today? It is the first yeah, ace. Couldn't remember another one. 2016 for sales, and we're going to get the second time out by St. Mary's. They trail by four. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Our premier sponsor today is actually sponsoring the Fort Army Redskins. That's Reese Myrie and Company CPAs helping small businesses navigate their financial future. They are our premier sponsor today, and they will see the Fort Army Redskins our second match today when they match up with the St. Henry Redskins. Lexi Magato with a four-point lead serves this ball. And that's dumped across by the setter, Ramel. This time she's going to set up Houston. And Haley Houston will get a point. Nice effort in the back row, but Houston gets a point coming out of timeout. Houston now has three kills. She leads uh, St. Mary's in that category. Sarah Graber will enter to play front row as she replaces Kaylee Clousing. And the serve will be Houston. Ball's tipped to find an open spot on the court is Cassie Baumholt. That was a nice play. Don't have to hit it hard sometimes. You do don't, you? Just no. put it in the right spot. Yep. Tessa Stammen to serve. Four-point lead, Tigers. And that kill will be chalked up by Sylvia Graber. Sierra Graber, my mistake. Cuts the lead to three. And we got an extra volleyball on the court. Surprised that doesn't <laughs> happen more often when you got two courts going at the same time. Well, you're right, and I haven't seen it yet today. We, we were watching before we came on the air. And, uh, but these courts are pretty far apart from each mm -hmm. other. There might be 25 feet between them. There's a kill by Kirsten Baumholt. She puts her team back up four. Also, sometimes you might expect some confusion on a whistle. 
Mm -hmm. You know, was that whistle on our court or was that the other court? Kenny Porter re-entered. This uh, serve will be by Fagato. No, I'm sorry, it's not. It's by number 18, Jim Briscoe. Five-point lead. The sales trying to close out the opening set on our structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Oh, what a play nice in the back row, yeah, and then missed the kill opportunity at the net. Did Cassie Baumholt upset with herself after her teammate made a really nice play? Really rambled to serve. And it's long. I thought she had the back line, but it sailed just yep. long, and we're at the set point. Taylor Wagner will enter to play in the front row. Service by Libero Briscoe. And we need to kill to win the set. You go to Kirsten Baumholt. Exactly what she did. Her team takes the opening set, 25-19. Second set coming up after this. You watch your high school volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. For sales with the opening set, that would be 25-19 on the scoreboard. Chris, what kind of stat numbers did you have? Well, we had Kirsten Baumholt with uh, seven kills for Versailles, and along with Haley Porter with four. They had a total of 13 kills and two ace serves, but they missed four serves, so we'll keep an eye out on that. For St. Mary's, they had five kills, no aces. They were led by uh, Haley Houston had three kills, and Sierra Graber had two kills, and they only missed two serves. Um, only two ace serves, both of those were by Versailles in that first set. Thank you for your stat numbers, Chris, and then you pointed out to me, held over from our pre-COVID days, or our, from during our COVID days, I guess, the teams don't switch sides anymore. So we're still gonna have St. Mary's in the dark uniforms with the uh, gold trim to our left, and Versailles also in black uniforms, and a little bit of white and orange trim to our right. Yeah, both teams in black. Yeah. If they wear their uh, colorful color, <laughs> I guess to, uh, to, for lack of other words, it's a little easier for us to keep track yeah, on is. who's yeah. who. So I got to make sure I got my papers in the right side. Here's Brooke, so can... Brooke Briscoe to serve to open up set two. Set will go. Here's a play at the net. There you see the... Libero come in and set that ball. Bomb hold set that, hit that one from the back row. This is going to go to Tayo in the front row. Play by the Libero. And we're going to get double contact. First point will go to Versailles. Yeah, I remember when we used to do the, uh, the Volley for the Cure games, and everybody would have pink shirts yeah. on <laughs> for both teams. Yeah. Both teams. <laughs> yeah, I did a match one. I had no idea who was yeah. here. Which, here comes the ball into the court. Yeah, they're going to keep it out of play. Good job, Beth Edwards, line judge. Line judges have extra duties yeah, today. Yeah, they do. That one's left short the net by Bob Holt. One of the few times that she has missed it today. We're tied at one. As Billy Rammel goes to serve. And ball goes off the net. Good play. Tayo tips that one, and she tipped it out of bounds. Hit the net going across, I think, Chris, and then went yeah, out of bounds. I, I think so, yeah. 2-1 St. Mary's. Good for them to get off to a lead here in set two. Ashley Ness was right on top of that tip, though. She was moving even before the ball was tipped, which means she's watching the player, which is what you should be watching. That ball was blocked at the net. I think it was Brynn Clark got it. And two blockers there. St. Mary's, Mary's, Mary's first one. block. Yeah. First block today. And this is uh, interesting. So I guess you're just wiping it up. I couldn't see the towel under the foot of Kirsten Baumholt. I thought maybe she was trying to walk off an injury, but she's trying to get a little perspiration off the court. Yeah, 
what your senior leader is supposed to do, right? Yep. Here's Ramble to serve again. Played by the libero Briscoe. And then Tayo hits it across court. Clark tips. Bomb hole from behind the 10 foot line. Really nice spike approach from back there. The ball was set pretty much way in front of her, which um, it's easier to figure that out when the net's there because there's a limit to where the ball can be set. But that ball was set way in front of her in the back row, so a nice job. And her feet were still behind the line when she uh, exactly. made contact. Yep. That ball's hit in. Nice play that time by Graber. She finds the right side towards the back corner. Her team leads by two, and she goes back to serve this she, year. Yeah, she got three kills now. Serve. First bomb Holt. Boy, is she having a nice game today. Inside the back line for a kill. Haley Porter will replace Eversole. Also in is uh, Kaylee Clousing, and she takes the place of Graber. That'll be an ace. Chuck that one up to Bryn Briscoe. 5'8", senior setter. Overpass, that ends up, did she miss the sideline? She did. Haley Porter had a shot to put one away and got a little anxious and hit it sideways. Now the, the best players have done that. Brian Clark. That ball's hit wide too. I think that was a really nice play by the setter. The ball was headed over the net and she was able to keep it for a, a set for her teammate, but the ball got hit side, uh, too far sideways. Yep. 6-4 St. Mary's. That kill will go to Bob Holt. That's her 10th. Magato enters. And she will go back to serve. So Megadeth has to play that one in the back line. It's going to be bumped across by Briscoe. And it's going to fall for a point on St. Mary's side. Well, just a little mix up there. The set was a bit too high. Uh, still early in the season, so that can happen. That ball is going to be an ace. Chalk that one up to Lexi Megadeth. There's second ace. Looking across the way, the... Match going on between Ottawa, Glandorf, and Coldwater's going three sets. What a great volleyball tournament this is, Chris. It's just a great day to watch high school volleyball. Yeah, you and I were, even before we're on the air, just enjoying watching. Yeah. That was blocked. Look, Taylor Wagner was there. 8-6 for Sales has come back to take this lead. Magado to serve again. And it Ooh. fell wide. That was... <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> Addison Louth looking at yeah. that one like, oh. Yeah, her heart sped up there for about two seconds. Ball could have fallen in. Got just outside the line over there. Here's Gracelyn Johns to serve. Oh, we got what? an illegal alignment called against Versailles oh. and an overlap. Must have been okay, left and right. Mm. Yeah, so the setter and libero there were lined up. Whoever's farther away from the net has to be the one responsible for that, although it, it can easily be not the first thing you think of in service, Steve. Kind of one of those things that occurs in your opening matches of the year, isn't it? 
A little anxious yeah. get out of a lot of plays. That ball is put down to net by Taylor Wagner. Six foot sophomore gets a point. Kirsten Bobholt to serve. Houston with that kill. Well, this set's very similar to the first one as far as the score is concerned. We were very close in the first uh, 20 points, each pretty pretty close. And uh, and then in the teens, for sales started to pull away. We'll see what happens here. Tio tips. Ball's played from the back row by Houston. And that's where we find it happened, Chris. We talked about it earlier. We get a ball rolling in from the other court. We go replay. Yep. Great facility, though, here, isn't it? It so is. And, you know, we, you and I do different uh, Saturday tournaments around the area, and they're just all great. The nice one about this is they're all in one gym. Mm -hmm. Ball's tipped at the net. Nice pancake play. Good effort that time by the setter. Frisco. And then we get the big kill from Sierra Graber. And that's her fourth kill. 10 9 St. Mary's on our structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Houston from the back row, and it goes over the net. It goes off of Tayo's hand, and it's 11-9. Also nice here out in the cafeteria. Coldwater has all their All-Ohio players on the wall around the perimeter of the cafeteria. And, you know, you and I really like high school sports history. We could spend the, all day out there just looking at that. <laughs> that ball was touched and will be an ace for Houston. It doesn't seem like Chris, and, and uh, this is my early volleyball. I want to get a timeout. We'll have that thought when we come back. St. Mary's with a 12-9 lead. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Mark Labor on your, on your calendar, the second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom All Family of Dealerships. The race begins at Sunnydale House where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. We have more to celebrate as we launch the academies at Allen East and Spencerville in September. To sign up, for, to sign up Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link. And that ball's blocked back as it comes right back to by Addison Ruff. We, we were talking right before the break, Chris. It seems like Versailles has their serve receivers closer to the net than most teams do. Well, they're just about at the 15-foot mark right there, right in the middle. And, um, and it seems like St. Mary's has been backing them up quite a few on their serves. But they're also mixing up. Both teams are mix, mixing up their serves pretty well as far as uh, serving deep and serving short. Sierra Graber gets that point with a block, and it's a five-point Rough Rider lead here in set two, trying to even this one up. Baumholt from the back row. This will be Graber. Tayo in the front row. And what do we got? Oh, ball rolled across the net oh. again? Yeah, have to go replay. Yeah. And so. more on your point, both coaches are giving a serve, or both benches are giving a serving zone, so if you can watch on, on the screen, the server will look over at the bench to see what zone she's been assigned to serve that to. Uh, for St. Mary's, Coach Yoder's doing that. I'm not sure who's giving the sign for uh, Versailles, but she holds that clipboard up so that the opponents can't see. So she might be giving a deep zone or a short zone. Tayo blocked and then played up in the air by Luff. It ends up being a point for Sales. Fourteen ten, as Haley Porter goes to serve. It's served by Porter. This is going to be played at the net by Graber. Tip to cross play by the libero that time. Nuss. Her counterpart gets a hand on that one. Briscoe. And that's <laughs> going to be a Versailles point. Kind of an odd point. We'll take that. Yeah. yeah. But a Versailles point.
Because we're looking at St. Mary's now. They've got four people in serve receive. Well, yeah, although the, kind of the deepest one yeah. is uh, actually not, but yeah. she just is in the back row, so she has to be back there. Ball's blocked, and it was blocked for a point out of bounds. And Nuss will serve. I think that was Lyle. That's her first kill. Yeah. Fifteen and eleven, Rough Riders. That kill will go to Wagner. Taylor gets another one. Cuts the lead to three. As Lexi Magato enters, she's been very successful in serve today. And we're going to wipe some more perspiration up off the court. Of course, they always do that with their feet. Then you wonder if some, at some point later in the day, somebody wipes their face with, you know, with that same yeah. towel. Here's Magato. Good kill attempt by Clark. And the ball is played, and we'll go out of bounds, and the point will go to St. Mary's pushes their lead to four. Billy Ram will to serve. Setters are mixing things up a little bit more in this second set. We have, uh, overall, we have seven different girls that have kills in this set. Ball's tipped, and it goes up short. Baumholt tried to just push it over the net and get it short and it didn't get quite get there. I think it might have worked if it would have gone yeah, think, over. Yeah. Nope, nobody was there. Now five points. St. Mary's lead ties their biggest of the game. And that ball's hit long. Is it touched? It is. Yep. So did Tayo get that kill? I'm, I'm not sure. I yeah. think she did, yeah. She did, then she checks out. Yep, her third kill today. That's a statement to serve. That ball's blocked, and it goes long. Versailles climbing back in at the lead down to three. Early on, a couple of those blocks that went deep in the court landed in. Now, landed out. Stammen to serve this one. Well, that's kind of the way you draw it up, isn't it, yep, Chris? Got right a little bump, bump set spike thing, put it right to the net, good set. And then the put away by Bryn Clark. Yeah, she's got two out of the last three points for St. Mary's. Four-point lead, St. Mary's as Graber serves. The ball hit in by Tristan Baumholt. A little bit quiet in set two after having a big set three. Well, seven set kills in the first set, but she's got five in this set. Yeah. They're a little bit less uh, uh, emphatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's Bryn Bristow. Just thinking that's, of the word, that's it. That's going to be an ace. By Briscoe. The leads to two. Briscoe now has three aces on the, uh, for the match. Serves this one. And a little over serve, and unable to get the point back Another up ace. Yep, Yep, Lily Ramble couldn't play it off the net. It's 18-17. Everybody looked at Coach Yoder to see if she was going to call a timeout. She did not. <laughs> Houston with that hit. But she's going to get a point as the barrel Briscoe couldn't play it. Now yeah, she got a little bit twisted around there with the ball traveling up. So high and then over her head. True, Chris. Some coaches this time of year, early on, we're going to have them play through the other team's run. We might call a timeout if it was a league match, but tonight we're going to learn how to play through it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Mm -hmm. 
set. Bomb. Holt gets that hit. This ball's pushed across. She's going to get another try. That was a little farther off the net. This is Lauf. Pushes St. Mary's up by three, does Addison. And Clark will serve. And so the wrong. There again, though, the you know the serve, they're pushing that back toward the back line. Trailing by two, Frisco will serve. This will be Houston. And Haley Houston gets a point. That's her fourth in this uh, set and seventh overall. Graceland Johns enters to serve for the Rough Riders with a three-point lead in set two. Sales won the opening set, 25-19. Service short. That's only their first service error in the second set. Kirsten Baumholt. Back to serve. 21-19 St. Mary's. Houston hits that one. Bombo from the back row and good block at the net by Addison Ralph. I'm not sure if she hit it or not. It was for presence there. The ball went off the tape. Either way, it's going to be a St. Mary's point. Twenty-two nineteen on the structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. And that kill goes to Versailles. Big hit by Haley Porter. That's her fifth overall today. Versailles trading points right now with St. Mary's. That will favor the Rough Riders. It will. Although you want to tell you know, if you're St. Mary's coach, you're not saying we're okay with trading points. We don't want to trade points yet. That ball's blocked. They played across, though. They're playing a little ping pong yeah. here. Yeah, somebody in the net. We did. Might have been Tayo. Could have been Wagner. They were both there. Either way, we had a Versailles Tiger in the net. And Versailles will take a timeout at 23-20. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. St. Mary's trying to close out set two. They lead by three. And that ball is hit short by Haley Porter. And St. Mary's is a point away from sending us to set three. The libero, Ashley Nuss will serve. Tipped across by the setter. It's going to be Baumholt from the back row behind the 10 foot line. She puts it away. The sale stays alive. Pretty obvious when the sales needs a point where they're going, isn't it? It is, and why not? Yes. Kirsten Baumholt having a really nice game today. In service will be Lexi Magato. Her team trails by three. St. Mary's trying to close it out. They go to Houston from the back row. Tayo bumps it across. Clark, somebody in that again? I couldn't tell which side, I though. I think so, yeah. I okay. think they caught, this time I think they caught Tori Tayo in the net. And in so doing, that gives St. Mary's point number 25. And we will go to set three right after this. You watch your high school volleyball on WOSN. Our premier sponsor today supports the Fort Lauderdale Redskins. That is Reese Myring and Company CPA is helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Fort Lauderdale will be playing in the second match today. That is against the St. Henry Redskins. 
But we have business to take care of for first as we get to set three here. Chris, what do our numbers look like so far? Well, for St. Mary's, who won that set, they had nine kills and one ace. They were led by Haley Houston with four kills. And um, they had uh, two blocks in that set and one missed serve. Uh, Versailles uh, had 11 kills and four aces. And uh, they were led, again, with Baumholt, had six kills, and that gives her 13 overall. Uh, Wagner and Tyo each had two. And uh, Bryn Briscoe had three aces in that set. Here's something you can do on Monday night. The Wren Wiffle Ball tradition continues on WOSN. The biggest little game on earth, only on WSN Monday at 8 p.m. Chris, I saw Patrick Cameron yesterday. He telecasts that game along with Dave Bowen every year. I said, Patrick, the weather forecast is 80% chance of rain. He said, doesn't matter. They're going to play. <laughs> well, I think I remember playing wiffle ball in the backyard, no matter, unless our moms yelled at us to come yeah. in the house. So we are going to go to set three. Versailles won the opening set, 25-19. St. Mary's comes back to win the second set, 25-20. Chris, let's just say, let's just do a for instance right here. If, if St. Mary's wins this one, that's two three-set matches. And uh, going into the championship game, now they're going to get a little bit of a break between the two. But uh, that's putting a strain on you here early in the season. Well, maybe. And I'll, I'll say two things on that. First of all, St. Mary's has not won this tournament. And uh -huh. they're going to be sky high uh -huh. if they can come out of here with the championship, just looking at the teams that are here today. But the second thing is that in the summer, they play a lot of matches in a day. And, yeah. and I, I think that they're in uh, top shape, and I, I think they'll be okay. I saw between the, uh, their first and second match, Bryn Clark was on the sidelines eating pasta, so she's ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, and Versailles, of course, they're going to try to get themselves to the championship game. First point of set number three. Nuss is going to set that one. And there's Baumholt with a big kill as she bangs it off of Ashley Nuss. We probably should say, Chris, if this were the deciding set in a regular season, it would be set five and we would play to just 15. But in a three-set match, we still play to 25. Right. Versailles is up a point here. Houston from behind the 10-foot line hits it long. Two over sales. And that's served by the setter, Bryn Briscoe, is short, so it's 2-1 as St. Mary's goes back to serve. And Again, if you're just getting familiar with our match today, both teams wearing black uniforms. St. Mary's is on the left side of your screen. Versailles on the right. Ball's hit at the net by Cassie Baumholt. Comes back at her. Both teams have pretty good block coverage today. Clark with that hit. This is Kirsten Baumholt. That's played, and it's going to go out of bounds, but the libero played it anyway. And then Baumholt hits it wide. That's the one the libero just has to play, right? You're not sure exactly where you're out on the court unless you get help from your teammates. you got to play it. Right. There's nobody behind her to call that, and it came so quickly. So, you know, you think you just have to play it. Yeah, you don't want to land on the floor and go, ah, I should have played that one. So yep. you play it anyway. Tied at two early in set three. Kill attempt by Haley Porter. Nobody there to hit it. Bumped across. Good save by the setter, Briscoe. And then Clark pounds it into the libero. And what do we got? Illegal contact? Yes, it was. Double hit. Gives St. Mary's a point. It's only been called a couple times in this uh, match. Uh, the setters and then the others who are handling it with their hands have done a pretty good job. Ramble serves. Bomb hold. And hit it long? She did. Chances are when you hit the line judge with the ball, it's a little <laughs> it's bit long. long. <laughs> Four two riders. Got 
That one missed the sideline, so each team has missed a serve here in set three. Libero, Brooke Briscoe to serve. Bryn Briscoe is the setter. Nuss bumps it over. There's Baumholt. Bomb and Thurston puts that one away. I think as often as I said her name so far, I'd have it, <laughs> have it come out a little cleaner, wouldn't you? Tied at four. She had two kills already in this set. Nuss is going to set from the back row. Just kind of bumped over that time by Lyman. Graber tipped that one over. This will be Bomb Holt, and that time she puts it away. She's been going cross court. That time she went more down the line. Well, she did. Yeah, smart hitters do that. They mix it up. For sales with their first lead here in set three, 5-4. Little roll shot. And that time just a dip, and she caught everybody off guard. Looking for the fastball, you get the changeup. Everybody left standing. That's her fourth kill here, and 17th overall. Four kills and six points so far for Kirsten Baumholt. Ramlin sets up Lyman. Puts that one away. Greatberg to serve. This time they go the other way. This time to Haley Porter. That ball got up into the rafters and ends up coming straight back to the court. And a point for Versailles. Nice high gym here, but sometimes it just gets that way, Chris. Well, especially it, with the rafters, it can pinball around up there and you can be ready for it and all of a sudden it hits a, a little bit of a rafter and goes the other direction. And but that's, I mean, their, oh. their experience with that. It's in every gym. I talked about experience. We did a little change on the fly like we do in scrimmages and our R2 today, Paul Offenbacher says, come on back, we're going to do this right. Either way, it brings Tori Tayo into the match. And that serve is long. 7-6. For sales. And Bryn Clark, second team all conference in the Western Buckeye League a year ago, will serve. Porter. Haley Porter gets a point. You know, that was an off speed, but it looked like maybe she just mishit hit it. That's what I thought. I thought maybe she mishit hit it a little bit. Took but something off of it. It can be just as effective. Yeah, that's right. And she scores a point for her team, makes it 8-6, and Haley goes back to serve. And her serve is short into the net. 8-7. Graceland Johns will enter and go into service, play the back row. Good serve. There's Bomb Holt bomb from the back row, and this time Kirsten misses the back line. And we're tied at eight. That ball tipped all across. Nice play. Both setters tried to make a play, but really Rambles is the one that ended up being a point. That's her first kill. You know, Coach, yes. I, can, I can get kills. Yes. Both setters are in the front row right now, so that's why that can legally occur. Yep. Good serve that time. An ace picked up by Graceland Johns. That's her first ace today. Her team has taken a two-point lead.
set, kill. Good put away that time by Taylor Wagner. Taylor takes a seat, gets replaced by Magato. They're on kind of the every other type thing. And once again, the first 20 points, almost yeah, equal. Exactly. All three yeah. sets have followed that pattern. So two very even teams today. That hit was made by Houston, played back. And from the back row, we get a point from Magato who's serving right now. And I have to say, I have to say it because it might be her only kill. Yeah. That's her first kill today. It's not really her job, is it? No. She gets the point, though, ties it at 10. Here's her serve. Ball's tipped across by the setter. And that ball's hit. Good play. Houston. And Tayo. And got double hit. I thought we did. As you mentioned earlier, within, in the gym like this, it's hard to hear the whistle sometime. It appeared to be a double hit, and everybody kind of stopped. For Sales with a one-point lead. Good serve. What do we got? Uh, she contacted it twice oh, consecutively, and you don't see that very often. No. So the so Johns passed the ball into the back of Nuss. The ball popped up in the air, She and Nuss turned around and, and bumped it across the net, but she contacted it two times consecutively. Well, kind of an odd way to get a double hit. It is, a yeah. The ball was blocked by Tayo at the net. Yeah, she's thinking, I didn't mean to. A little joust at the net. What's the call? Is somebody in the net? Yep, we do. We got a Versailles Tiger in the net that time. That's the third time that's occurred today. First time in this set. And allows Haley Houston to serve with her team trailing by a point. Tayo tips that one over. Good job by Nuss to get there. Yeah. Again, she moved before the ball was contacted. Houston from the back row. Kill attempt in the front row by Cassie Bombold. A good play by the libero that time by Frisco. She was also moving before the ball was contacted. There's a block. There's another good play. This has been a pretty good point right here. And it's going to be hit long on the back row by Haley Houston. That was one of our longer rallies. Yeah, it was. TV44 and WS are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click Donate Here. You can do that 24 hours a day. For sales with a two-point lead. The ball crawled along the net and fell over a point for Addison Lauf. And by the way, we do welcome people to donate 24 hours a day. That's correct. So just, to, just keep right on doing it. It's the 40th year of WTLW. How about that? Yeah. Ball hit from the back row. Oh, I thought good effort in the back by Brooke Briscoe, but the ball got to the floor, and the point went to, I think, Haley Houston. I believe so. Yep, that's her uh, ninth kill today. Eighth, excuse me, eighth. Great video out called uh, Station Identification, about the 40-year history of WTLW, and it is a great video about the, the vision to take a cornfield with a airplane hangar in the middle of it and make it into a Christian broadcasting station and how that event uh, took place and how that situation has grown. It's a great video and I have not seen it. It's wonderful. And of course, WTLW WSN, we, the OSN spawned from WTLW. Wow, what a hit. Kirsten Baumholt said, watch this and put one away. <laughs> Somebody had a vision, if you want Christian television to succeed, you need to do local programming. And lots of things came out of that, including high school sports, and eventually evolved into WOSN being a part of that. Ball's hit by Porter. 
This is going to be hit by Graber, and Graber gets a point. Best way I can explain that, Chris, think of ABC owns ESPN. ESPN provides programming for ABC, and that's kind of what WOSN does for WTLW. That's a good comparison. Yeah. WOSN, the first 24-hour high school sports station in the country. Is that right? It is. How about that? There's a kill. That one will go to Haley Porter. Put your team up, too. In service will be Brooke Briscoe, the libero, with her team up to trying to get to the championship match. Her sales was the runner-up in 2018, but has not won the championship here. That one is long. Three-point lead for sales. Did I see that? Did Coldwater win it last year? They did. And New Knoxville in the championship. Yeah, game. so they beat a state the team that won the state championship. Yep. So this tournament's harder than the state championship. <laughs> that's a nice kill. That's gonna be a point for Christian Baumhold too. And that's gonna force a St. Mary's a timeout. They trail by four on the structure Ohio scoreboard. You're watching high school volleyball on WSN. We're back at Coldwater. We're in the semifinals of the Coldwater spike off, the 13th annual one. Season 18 of the Sports Report starting Friday night at 10 p.m. You can join Patrick Camler every week for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. Season 18 already for the Sports Report. I was out there last night about uh, 20 till 11, and it was the typical chaos on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great program, and tune in when you have that opportunity after your football game on Friday evening. And Stay tuned for the game of the week that takes place, too. That's going to be an ace. The sales takes its lead to five. I thought that serve was going to hit the net. It did crawl over. Barely got over by Brooke Briscoe. She's going to serve again. Another good floater. We'll wrap around that time. That ball whacked by Bomb Holt, and it's going to be a point. Just been a load this time today, and St. Mary's hasn't found the answer yet. That's kill number 20 for uh, Bam Holt today. And we haven't played Baumholt. three sets yet. Kirsten's yeah. having a big day. Six point lead for Sales. We're going to get another ace. And St. Mary's will take their second timeout. They trail by seven. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard has Versailles at 21. It has St. Mary's at 14. The Rough Riders have called their second timeout. The last one didn't do them any good, Chris. They lost three consecutive points coming out of the timeout. No, and they were poor points, too, on, on their part. But I think if, if you're the coaching staff, and, of course, I, we're not close enough to hear, but you just say, listen, we've played really well today. Let's just end, play hard, whatever happens, happens, but play hard. Ball's played across the net, here comes the set. Kill attempt by Porter, and they're gonna get a kill a point out of it. Haley Porter, the five ship senior, puts for sales. Just three points away from moving into the championship match today. That's Porter's ninth kill. Been a good compliment to Kirsten Baumholt. That's going to be an ace. This has been a really productive service for Brooks, Bris Brooke Briscoe. Three of the points have been on her aces, and, and uh, she didn't have any aces until the, uh, this turn. Nine-point lead. Versailles trying to close this one out. Float serve is a little too short that time. Makes it 23-14 as Sierra Graber goes into service. Wagner hit that one, but it's played back. This is going to be Porter, or Houston, excuse me. And Haley Houston gets a point. So a couple of consecutive points for St. Mary's. Graber to serve again.
Illegal contact. Ball was kind of an overpass and it's up in the plane of the net or over the plane of the net when she played it. For sales, a point away from a three set win. Comes Porter, missed the sideline. That was Andy a good, that was a good idea, yeah, though, to go was. down line. That's yep. okay. And why not? You've got a, yeah. an eight-point lead. Take a chance. Yep. Bring Clark to serve. Tayo tips, and she gets a point. That will send her sales into the championship match with a 25-17 victory over the St. Mary's Rough Riders. The scores today for the Versailles Tigers, they won the first set 25-19. St. Mary's came back to win the second set 25-20. And then a 25-17 victory will wrap it up for, Saint, uh, for Versailles and they will move into the championship match. That's our next match coming up featuring St. Henry and Fort Laramie. Got some numbers for us, Chris? Uh, for Versailles, overall 39 kills, nine aces. They were led by uh, Kirsten Baumholt with 20 kills and Porter with nine. And uh, they also did have, however, nine missed serves. Uh, they were able to overcome that, but when you serve hard, you're gonna miss uh, some serves. And they had three blocks. For St. Mary's, they ended up with 20 kills, two aces. They were led with by Houston with uh, nine kills and by Graber with five kills. And they had five missed serves and two blocks. Well, thank the athletic director here at Coldwater. That's Mr. Eric Goodwin. He puts this whole thing together and does a great job with it. I want to thank Jacob O'Neill and Nick Fraley. Jacob doing our camera work and audio work today. Nick's going to edit it back at the station. We want to thank our sponsors, too. That would be Structure Outdoor Ohio and Reese Myring and Company CPAs. The second semifinal coming up next. But in this one, Versailles with a three-set victory over the St. Mary's Rough Riders in our first semifinal match. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Coldwater, the 13th annual Coldwater Spike Off Tournament. We're in our second semifinal match today. This will feature the Fort Laramie Redskins and the St. Henry Redskins playing in this semifinal match. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to play play. Alongside your color commentary, Mr. Chris Luthold. Chris, uh, a couple of Redskins, but this time we get black jerseys and red jerseys as opposed to our first match where they're both wearing dark colored uniforms. But two teams that have been very successful in recent, recent years. Uh, Fort Laramie 21 and 7 a year ago, third straight uh, championship in the SCAL, uh, 29 MAC championships uh, for the St. Henry Redskins, including a 16 and 6 year and 6 and 3 in league play in the MAC. So two quality programs here today in this, pro in this matchup. Right, and you just imagine these all these girls here that are playing today probably were in the gym watching volleyball when they were in first grade and just thinking of the day, you know, when they're going to be playing for their varsity teams. And here they are. And they've had just great histories on both of them. So we're expecting a really good match. How did they get here? Well, Fort Laramie defeated the Knoxville Rangers 25-14, 25-9 in their opening match today. The St. Henry Redskins defeated Miami East 25-8 and 25-18. And the winner of this will play the Versailles Tiger, the three-set winner over St. Mary's in our first semifinal today. And this will be a, a championship matchup. Uh, Versailles has never won it. St. Henry has won three, the last one in 2019. Fort Laramie won it in 2010. So a chance for Versailles perhaps to win their first ever championship. They were second back in 2018. Coaches today, Trisha Rosenbeck, coach of St. Henry, John Rogers in his 16th year. The coach at Fort Laramie. Officials today on the stand will be Paul Offenbacher on the floor as our R2 will be Steve Trout. And Mike Luff and Beth Edwards are our line judges today. 
second semifinal match and the Fort Laramie Redskins libero Haley Grillo will serve. And the serve comes up a little bit short and St. Henry gets the first point. Uh, not a good start for uh, Fort Laramie, but it's only one point. This will bring in number 10, Lauren Tiemann, to serve. Lauren's a 5-5 sophomore. A big hit was taking place by Victoria Mesher. There's another hit coming back at you. That one was by Philly Gells. This is Gells again. And that hit goes long, and first two points will go to St. Henry. The liberos, number zero, Raya Busher is the libero in the gray jersey for St. Henry. We saw in service a moment ago. Haley Grillo is the libero wearing number 30 and a red shirt for Fort Laramie. That ball is pushed across by Victoria Mesher. Here's the hit by Antrop. There's a hit. And the center pushes it over. That's really Lydia Waring. Tip. And that point's going to be a point for Chloe Gells as she tips into the correct place on the floor. She gets the first kill of the set. Rio St. Henry. And now 4-0 thanks to the service ace. Chris, we're going to have to do a little bit of work because I do not have a number 14 on my roster for St. Henry. And I'm going to have to do some scramble around to figure out who that is. Gells pushes that one to the back corner. It's probably in the witness protection program. 5-0 <laughs> oh, St. Henry as the ball was outside the antenna when it crossed the net, or attempted to cross the net anyway. Service again for Lauren Tiemann. Willio has to play it over. Set. Gells tips it to the corner. First six points are going to go to St. Henry. And that will force a John Rogers timeout. Well, no, it doesn't. I thought he was all set to call timeout. He looked at the official and then chose not to. 6-0 St. Henry. Good service effort this time by Lauren Tiemann. And they're right back at you as a kill. That will go to Morgan or to uh, Skyler Albers. That puts Fort Laramie on the board at a 6-1 score. The service this time by Victoria Mesher is into the net. And that will make it 7-1 St. Henry. The libero, Rhea Busher serves that left-handed serve. That one is long. So she misses one long. And now service will go to number 20, Summer Hoying. Summer was a second team all-conference player a year ago in the SCAL. That hit kill was made by Lizzie Snyder. She gets a kill. And this will bring number 13, Leah Leifeld, into the game. And in service will be Lydia Whirling. Lydia gets an ace. So now it is 9-2, and here is that timeout by Coach Rogers. His team trails 9-2. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Coldwater. It's 9-2. 
in favor of St. Henry with an early start. That ball has to be bumped across by Skyler Albers. Kells tried to get the kill. The ball laid on her back, and that's going to be a held ball situation. Double contact, and the point will go to the Fort Lauderdale Redskins, and they now trail by six. They get a point coming out of the timeout, and Skyler Albers will be back into service. Gells gets a hit. Bumped up in the air. This is going to be played out of the back row by Jaden Rose. Ball got up into the ceiling. Ball's pushed across. Avery Brandewe. And point goes in favor of Fort Laramie at 9-4. to four. All right. So Lizzie... All right, we'll try to get some numbers straight. Chris has been doing some work trying to get some roster changes for us. We'll try to get those straightened out in a minute. Gells with a kill. Chloe Gells makes it 10 to 4. All right, Chris, what? Shimmy, tell me what numbers you got there, Chris. Okay. We'll just do it right on air. On drop is 12. Okay, this is Maya. Yep. Maya Ontrop becomes number 12. And Lizzie okay. Snyder is 13. Okay. And, then and Leah Leifeld is 14. Well, all right. That takes care of that. Thank you for tracking that all down, Chris. Yeah. 10-4 in favor of St. Henry. Brandewee would have hit. And that's going to be a point to Avery Brandewee, the sophomore. And, of course, I'm a little bit behind on our stats now. It's a little bit maybe, but we'll just go with what I've got. That's her first kill. That's pretty close. Here comes number 21 to the match. This is Victoria Mesher. She goes to the front row. There's probably a boatload of mistakes in my stats anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, Well, everybody thinks they're correct. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's and true, usually yeah. they are. So, <laughs> it's Hit. That ball is nice. Hit, and that played at the net really well. I think that was Lizzie Snyder got the point as we get a held ball situation. Makes it 11-5. That 6-0 run to start the match is the difference. Now, this is number 12, and you say number 12 is Maya Ontrop, correct? Yep. All right. Maya serves. Ball's played over by Summer Hoying. And then on the attempted kill is Leah Leifeld. She hit it long. And it's 11-6. Avery Brandewe serves. From the back row, that's Gell. She comes up a bit short. It's at 11-7. But Lom has not been able to string three consecutive points together yet in the match. This is an opportunity for them to do so right now. And that kill attempt by, uh, by Lizzie Snyder goes into the net. So that comes up short, and there are three consecutive Redskin points, well, Fort Lauderdale Redskin points. Well, we got different colored jerseys, unlike the first match, but we got the same nicknames. <laughs> got to work on uh, opening match calls here today. Ball is long. This serve. 12 8 St. Henry. But after falling behind early, Fort Lormie's got themselves back in this set. Morgan Bomber, a freshman, will serve and play the back row. That kill attempt put away by Katrina Burning. And it's her first kill today in this set. We've got one service rotation all the way through, so we're back to Haley Grillo. Whirling sets. The ball by Mia Niekamp is blocked. Chloe Gells from the back row. Nice dig. It was played by the libero. One shot's blocked back at her. And Summer hits that one sideways and does she get a point.
Lauren Tiemann will serve this ball. Set by Barhorst, hit. And that ball got up in the rafters and comes down awkwardly. Point to the Fort Army team. Well, the, the players start to drift toward that ball mm -hmm. where it's going to go, and then it hits the rafters and comes back pretty quickly, and no one's there. Here's Victoria Mesher. Chloe Yell. This is going to be Summer Hoying. Gells again. Is it touched? It was. To the point where we'll go to St. Henry on the block. It, it goes out of bounds. And Gells now has four kills. 14-10. This will be the libero for St. Henry to serve now, Rhea Busher. It'd be a thrill for her to play in the state tournament last year as a freshman. How about that. St. Henry losing to fellow Mac opponent last year, New Knoxville, in the state championship match. Here's a kill. 15-10 now, St. Henry. About that. MAC, two teams in the championship match, huh? Yeah, that's happened before. That's yeah, happened before. In fact, I was wondering earlier today, when was the last school year in which the MAC did not win a state championship in any sport. In any sport? Yeah. There's the kill. But, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure there was a time when they didn't. But when was that? that yeah. It had to be. I can tell you a year a MAC school did not win a volleyball championship. 2020 when COVID wrapped it yeah. up and wiped it out. Yeah. <laughs> but it would take something like that to, to keep a MAC team from winning a championship yeah. in volleyball or another fall sport. Floater. Summer hauling. And we got a red skin in that. Looks like uh, number, was it 20 or? No, that's, that's number two, I guess. No, that's not right either. Well, I missed the number. My bad. I think it was 12, which would be Maya Ontrop. I think that was the signal he gave. Set. That'll be a hit and a kill for Skyler Albers. She pounded that right through the block for a second kill. Again, unofficially, as I missed several points tracking down some numbers. 16-12, St. Henry. Summer Hoying serves this ball. Chloe Gells off the net. And she's going to get a point out of it. Seventh kill already for her. 17-12. This will be Lydia Whirling, the setter, serve this ball. She has an ace today. Good hit that time by Albers. Balls up in the rafters. Good play. Here's Gels again. Pushes it to the back row and she didn't get another point. So Henry began the game with a 6-0 run. They're up six again, and we're going to get a John Rogers timeout. Fort Laramie down six. So Henry trying to win the first set. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors, your outdoor, <laughs> your indoors out. I'll get it right, Structure Outdoor Ohio. Good sponsor for WOSN and all that we do here. You know, Chris, we talk about programs. You think these two teams are always stacked with seniors? Just three seniors for Fort Laramie and only two for St. Henry today. Yeah, that's unusual. Yep. 18-12, St. Henry. They send their setter, Olivia Whirling, into service. And that's going to be an ace for Lydia. The turn got up into the rafters and rattled around. Third ace serve for uh, the Redskins. Good footwork. There's a hit. That's going to be a point. It does. It falls in for Avery Brandewey. Stops that run at three points. 
St. Henry still trails by six as Skyler Albers, the junior, is back to serve. Got illegal contact. I thought so. I couldn't hear the whistle, but all of a sudden I saw the official point. We had the double contact. That must have been on the ball that Gills yeah, sent over the net. Yeah, that's okay. correct. It looked uh, funny. I looked up to see the official, and he had called it. but uh, Can't go by look yeah, funny, though. Yeah, yeah, that's you, correct. you got to yeah. see it. That's why I looked up to see if yeah. it, uh, what his call was going to be, and he did call it. Here's Gells. Chloe Gells having a nice first set. Yeah, she's not going to get called for double contact on that one. She did not. She might get called for pounding the ball past <laughs> the opponent. And rewarded for that, she gets to serve, does Chloe Gells. And she gets an ace. It's her second. 21-14, seven-point lead. Gells hits that one. This is going to be played by Brandewe, and she miss hits the ball. Set was a little bit off the net. Our premier sponsor for this match is for the Fort Lauderdale Redskins. That's Reese Myrie and Company CPA is helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Eight-point lead, Brandewe. Whirling sets. Gels from the back row and she hit it into the net. Says Jenna Barhorst, the setter for Fort Army. Back to serve. There's a big hit. That one was done by Mia DeCamp. And that's her first kill in this match. This sends Lizzie Snyder to serve. And her serve is into the net. That's the first miss serve for uh, St. Henry. Brandewe serves this one, Avery. And now St. Henry is just a point away from taking the opening set. And you know what that was? That was one of the seven times you're not supposed to miss a serve. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep track of this, Chris, because okay. you keep telling me that. And I think by the end of the season, we'll have like 14 or 15, well, seven you know, times I you're not take supposed that to miss a serve. I accept that challenge. <laughs> There's a kill. That one's going to go to Katrina Burning, one of those three seniors that you find on John Rogers' team this year. Here's Grillio to serve. And what do we got? Ball into the net. Yes, it was. That will end set number one with a missed to serve. And it will be a 25-17 victory for St. Henry as we go to set number two. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our premier sponsor for this match today is for the St. Henry Redskins and the three smiring and company CPAs helping small businesses navigate their financial future. How about some stat numbers opening set, Chris? Well, for uh, St. Henry, they had 11 kills and four aces. 11, uh, uh, eight of those kills were by Chloe Gells and also two of the aces. Uh, nobody else had more than one kill or ace. For Fort Lormer, they had seven kills, no aces. Um, and two each by Albers, Brandywee, and Burning on kills. And they ended up with four missed serves, uh, no blocks in the first set. And uh, I missed here that St. Henry had one missed serve. Of course, those are unofficial, yeah, they're, they're, as they always I are. I think we're right in there. <laughs> Number 10, Lauren Tiemann will serve for St. Henry. Trying to get to the finals where they will match up with Versailles. The ball's blocked and the kill attempt by Victoria Mesher. 
There's Gels. Well, she picked up right where she left off. You know, we talked about the color of the uniforms earlier. They're actually exact opposites. St. Henry is playing in red with the libero in you know, dark gray, whereas Fort Loramie is playing in black with red libero. Uh, Fort Loramie's libero is the very highest number on the roster for them, and St. Henry's libero is the very lowest number on the roster for them. So they're just exact opposites today. Gels pounds another one. Kelly Gels having a big day today. Well, they're giving her a lot of chances, too. I can see why. 5'10", junior. Of course, we remember her from last year. Yep. Yeah. Here's our service again by Lauren Tiemann. And she gets an ace. So much like in the opening set when San Henry took a 6-0 lead, they're now taking a 3-0 lead here in set number two. Ball was attempted to be saved at the net by Jenna Barhorst, but she prolonged contacted it. Pass was going to be an overpass, and she did the best she could with it, but she still got called for the violation. Here's Teeman again. Summer Hoying pounds one through and gets the first point of this set for Fort Army. It's a good kill. There was no block over there for her, so it's just open season. And Summer Hoying goes back to serve. Second team SCAL player a year ago. Actually, that was Mesher served that one, 21, not 20. And there's a kill. And Gels again, of course, she had 32 kills in the state championship. Uh, well, in, in both of the matches that St. Henry played in last year, she had a combined 32 kills. So uh, she's, she's not really unaccustomed to getting the ball that's, set that's to a her a lot. Pretty good state tournament effort for a sophomore. Very, oh, yeah. yeah. Here's that left-handed serve by Busher. Albers tried to wrap around that time, didn't make it. Of course, you tell me it's not wrap around, it's slide. Right? It's backslide, yeah. Yep. Old time terminology <laughs> in here. There it is again. This time, Albers gets a point out of it. Well, I remember I was at the. Uh, in Los Angeles for the Olympics in 84, watching the women play volleyball. and. Um, we saw, the, at least I saw the slide for the first time by the, our Olympic team, and uh, I thought, wow, what a great play. And now, of course, you see even uh, JV teams doing it once in a while. The ball's pounded at the net this time by, by uh, Maya Antrop. That's her second kill today. Five points to Henry Lead as... Lydia Whirling goes to serve. 5'9", junior. And she gets another ace, throwing it right in the corner. Well, it's a tough call because it's, it, it could be out long and it could be out on the sideline, but uh, it just was right in the corner. Whirling again. Going to set Gels, she dumps it this time, but a good block at the net. Jenna Barhorst was there, so was Skyler Albers, and one of them got a block, or maybe they both did. That's hard to time when yes. that ball's tipped because you, you really jump to block the spike, and when it's off speed, it's tough to block, so they have a, a pretty good high vertical jump. It's Albers. Tip. Point from the back row. Good dive and attempt anyway, made by Whirling, but the ball fell in, out of bounds. Summer gets her third kill. Albers to serve. Kind of a save play that time by Antrop. Here's Hoing. 
And off the blocker will be the kill by Maya Antrop. Oh, we're changing bodies here. Something pretty cool going on for Fort Laramie. We have a young lady named Emma Conti. What makes it unusual, Emma is a foreign exchange student from Italy. Came to the United States this past week or so and joined the volleyball team. There's a kill for Avery Brandewi. Kind of adding to her experience as a foreign exchange student. Could be on a top flight volleyball program here in the United States. Jenna Barhorse serves and missed for that serve. I didn't watch the warm up enough to know if uh, she was participating. I wish now that I'd I, paid attention to that. I, some of what I saw, she was uh, kind of like uh, taking it all in a little bit. Oh, okay. She, she was <laughs> on the floor for part of it. Well, that goes into the net, so kind of trading miss serves there for a moment. 10-6 in favor of St. Henry. This will be Brandewee to serve. And ball blocked back. Good block at the net that time. I think Katrina Burning is the one who got that one. That's the second block in this set for Fort Lormie. And we will serve again. Her team is trailed by as many as five in this set. Actually, it trailed 8-2 eight, uh, eight once. They've been down as much as six in this set. It's a big hit. That one was by uh, Mia Niekamp. There have been a lot of knee camps playing uh, sports at St. Henry, haven't there? Saw a very proud dad of one when I came in today. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Said, you finally got all your people and your family healthy? He said, yes, finally. And they had some knee injuries a year ago they had to deal with, so it's a good thing. Bar horse sets. And we got somebody in that, somebody wearing a red jersey. Looks like uh, number 14, that would be Leah Lefeld. Well, you can't touch the net at any time unless the ball forces the net into you. Or if your hair hits the net, that's okay. For example, a ponytail. If you swing around and your ponytail hits, that's, that's okay too. Good effort by Whirling, the setter, who's in the front row to try to put one across. It's played by Fort Laramie. And then we're going to get a kill. That one was by me and knee camp. That was a pretty athletic kill because the ball wasn't set very high. And it really, she didn't have time for a spike approach at all. Just take her, just jump where you're at. Lauren Tiemann will serve this ball. Redskins up four. four uh, St. Henry Redskins up four. Summer Hoying gets it blocked. Good play, however, by Whirling. I thought that ball was down. Whirling made Actually, a nice it by, play. It was by Barnhorse. I had wrong number seven. But yes, it was a really good play. Talked about a really good play. Yeah. I thought it just set up. Chloe Gells and let her hammer away at it. Yep, a little bit of a tandem play there, which. You don't see too often anymore, but it's, but it should teams should play that a little bit more. That's a very effective play. Another team and serve coming up. Her team leads by five. Ace, nope, hit it long. That almost ate up the back row there and fell into a player. Well, it looked like each one of them, you know, is it in, is it out? Are you going to take it? Am I going to take it? So it worked out okay, though, for Fort Lormie. Second miss of the set for St. Henry. Here's Mesher to serve Victoria. Gells goes off a blocker and scores another point. That's her fifth kill in this set. Fourteen nine. Take a moment and deal with some perspiration on the floor. TV4 is celebrating its 40th anniversary. WS10 is a part of that celebration. You could donate $40 to a thank you gift for 40 years of local broadcasting in this region. Donate online at WTLW.com backslash donate. I'll call 419-339-4444. It's Busher to serve. There's Whirling dumps it across, and this time Lydia scores a point. 
is very deceiving. I was completely fooled on that tip. John Rogers calls his timeout number one here in set number two. His team trails by six. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The scoreboard today is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. It shows a 15-9 St. Henry lead, hence the timeout by Coach Rogers in the Fort Army Redskins. Their first here in set number two. Rhea Busher to serve. Albert pushes that across. Set by Busher. Gels gets it blocked. Busher gets it over. Summer Hoying goes off a blocker. And Gels pounds another one away. Fort Lormy just hasn't had a chance to answer that so far. That's her uh, 14th kill. And we've lost the volleyball. <laughs> yeah. You got mixed up with those in the, who are warming up across the way. Right, so sometimes you think that's a warm-up ball, <laughs> then it gets thrown over into the other court. And that sort of comes up a little bit short. I thought they had enough legs to it to get over. It did not. So it's 16-10. That seven-point lead is the biggest of set number two for St. Henry. Gels. She's going to get another kill. They just about got it. Seven-point lead. Back to serve the server, the uh, setter, Lydia Whirling. 5'9 junior. Barhorse sets that one. Hit across by Brandewe. And the next spike attempt by Lizzie Snyder comes up short. Both setters are wearing number seven, and they're both doing a yeah. nice job mixing the ball up and uh, covering the floor. and and uh, talking, calling plays. Jenna Barhorse is a sophomore for Fort Laramie. Lydia Whirling is a junior. Here's Barhorse. And then kind of a oddly hit ball by Avery Brandewey gets a point for her team. That's her fourth kill. Second in this set. Fort Laramie still trails by five, trying to get back into this one. Is Skyler Albers serves. Gell. I couldn't tell if that was in or out. I looked down at the yeah. line judge and she called it right away, right on top of it. 18-12. Chloe Gell certainly gets off the floor well, doesn't she? Sure. She missed it at 5-10, but jumps very well as well. She will get to serve this ball. Summer Hoying goes off the libero, Rhea Busher with that hit. 18-13. Well, Hoying's another one of those that can get, you know, you can set her in the front row or the back row. She's always prepared for a ball coming her way. Barhorse served that one. And we're gonna save it. I thought we were gonna get a point out of that. Good scramble, but it went just a little long. I thought the initial kill was going to get a point, but Fort Army got it back. Just to over the end line. Maya Ontrop serves this one. And Ontrop will set. Yells from the back row, but it's blocked. That one's blocked. A great form on that block. Here's just a two-handed push by Gell. But that push was a little bit too long, and what's well, going to fall? Is Barhorst okay? She went down awkwardly. I guess she's all right. I think she slipped on the court, and that's I what this, this yeah. uh, short break is going to be. 
Premier sponsor for Fort Laramie is Reese Myring and Company CPA is helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Seven point lead, St. Henry. They're five points away from making it to the championship match. Ball's hit long. Avery Brandon, we got a little bit too much of that one. And that will allow Maya Ontrop to serve, 5'10 senior. Good save by Whirling. Here's Barhorse set. And that kill was put away by Katrina Burning. Just her third, first in this set. Avery Brandewi will serve. And we're going to wipe some perspiration up again off the court. Well, this is the second match for the girls. I'm sure they don't take showers between <laughs> matches. So, you know, they're really working up a sweat today. So it's not surprising that the little perspiration on the floor. Okay, here we go. We're ready to play now. Avery Brandewi. set and it's hit out of bounds that point will go to Fort Lawrence and yeah, the ball bounced off the net yeah the Fort Lawrence Redskins have won 14 consecutive district championships for coach John Rogers that's amazing it is in an area that plays pretty good volleyball he's got those teams ready for the tournament every year well yeah even the sectional can be tough and uh, so that, that's quite an accomplishment 21-16 as Fort Laramie is trying to rally back into this and force it to a third set. Twenty-two sixteen. St. Henry defeated Fort Laramie the last time they played. That was in the regional finals a year ago. On the way to their state runner-up season. I imagine it's possible that some of these girls play club uh, uh, with each other on the opposing teams. So they know each other quite well. Hit off the blocker. Corn's going to hit that one. And going to hit it into the antenna. So St. Henry just two points away from facing fellow MAC School of Versailles in the championship match. Bumped over. And hitting it through a blocker that time for a point is Mia Niekamp. And we are at match point. But the serve is short by Morgan Bomber. You know what that is? What's that? One of the seven times you're not supposed to miss a serve. <laughs> I should have known. that is match point. I should have known that. And that's only two today now. That, you, okay. you don't I, go I, away I've or think, two. hey, you mentioned five of them. No, it's only two. <laughs> Katrina Burning will serve. Slide play. And that's going to end up being a point for Leah Leifeld. And match point will go the favor of the St. Henry Redskins. They will take this one with a 25-17 victory. And that will put them into the championship match against Versailles. The match went uh, kind of as the, the first set went, uh, similar to the second set. So in the first set, Sandra scored the first six points of the game. Fort Laramie spent the rest of the match chasing them. And then St. Henry scored the first four points here in set number two. And again, Fort Army just could never quite catch up. The lead eventually getting to as many as uh, eight with 24-16 and 21-23 and so on. Chris, you have some final numbers? Yeah, the stats did favor St. Henry, of course. Uh, they ended up with 26 kills and five ace serves. And 16 of those 26 kills came from Chloe Gills, 
four from Knee Camp, three from Ontrup, and uh, they did miss five serves. Fort Lormy ended up with uh, 14 kills, uh, four each from Brandywee and Hoing. They had six uh, miss, miss serves and two eight, uh, aces. Thank you very much for keeping our stat numbers today. Again, our athletic director who puts this all together is Eric Goodwin, our crew today. Jacob O'Neill has been here doing our camera work and sound activity. Back at the station, Nick Fraley will edit this all together. We're going to take a short break, and we're back with a championship match between Versailles and St. Henry coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Good afternoon and welcome back to Coldwater High School where we're looking at the championship match of the 13th annual Coldwater Spike Off. A pair of Midwest Athletic Conference teams, the St. Henry Redskins, who you can see warming up as we speak, and they are playing the Versailles Tigers. My name is Mark Schein. It's my pleasure to do play-by-play. Alongside your color commentary, Mr. Chris Ludholm. Chris, we saw both of these teams play a couple matches earlier today, and this should be a very competitive one. Well, it's going to be. First of all, great tradition at both schools. They both have state championships. Uh, they're conference rivals, so they'll play again later in the year. So it's just a little bit of a plus for them to be able to play an outstanding opponent this early in the season. Well, uh, Chris, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, finish, go uh, finish off. Well, okay, let, let's finish up with what I was thinking about then, and that is each of these teams seem to be powered by one dominant hitter. Chloe Gells for St. Henry, uh, Kirsten Baumholt for uh, Versailles, and, and I think we should probably focus on what those two young ladies bring to the table today. Yeah, so far today, uh, Baumholt had 20 kills in the first set. She easily led the team, and, and uh, so far the most kills we've in a match that we've seen. And, um, and then Chloe Gells had 16 kills in a two-set match that they played uh, that we just aired. So um, we're going to be looking at those. They're both outside hitters. They both get set in the back row, and they can hit from anywhere on the court. Versailles has wins over Ottawa Glendorf, 25-18, 25-19. And then they defeated St. Mary's 25-19. They lost the second set 25-20 and won the third set 25-17 to get to the finals today. St. Henry, they had straight set wins over Miami East 25-8, 25-18, and over Fort Laramie 25-17, and again 25-17. St. Henry won this championship in 2019. Versailles has never won the Coldwater Spike Off, and we will see who wins the 13th edition of this tournament coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Coldwater High School. Mark Schein and Chris Luthold for the championship matchup of the 13th annual Coldwater Spike Off, one of the premier tournaments to start every season. Our officials today up on the stand will be Paul Offenbacher. On the floor will be Steve Trout. And our line judges today are Mike Luke and Beth Edwards. And look and see if Beth was still down there, and she is. Chris, one thing we need to kind of point out at this particular point, and, and that is uh, senior leadership. Uh, there are just two seniors on St. Henry's team, and there are six seniors on Versailles' team. And I know a lot of those young ladies from St. Henry have experience, but they are not seniors. That might play into this today. Well, it could, and I think at one time in high school sports that might have been, but I think in volleyball now, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb maybe and say no. It's not going to matter. Um, the game doesn't know any age. We've got freshmen playing yep. now, and, and, uh, and both these teams have gone deep in the tournament in recent years, and so they get lots and lots of time. They play club ball. They play in the summer, and um, I'm going to maybe just say that no, it doesn't matter. Now, if a team had... Maybe all seniors against all sophomores, that might be the case, but but I think in, in this uh, setting right here, that's not gonna matter. St. Henry's in the red, they're on the left side of your screen today. Versailles is in the black and they are on the right side and we are underway. Teeman serves. The ball's dug out by Lydia Whirling and then the ball is hit long and Versailles has the first point of this match. Back to serve for them is their setter, Bryn Briscoe. Ooh, that was a nice up. And we're tied at one. Yeah, when that ball is down close to the floor, you got to get your hand underneath it, and that's exactly what she did. 
Rhea Busher, the libero in her gray jersey, dark gray jersey, will serve now for St. Henry. And that's the young lady we talked about right there, Kirsten Baumholt. Kirsten again, that goes off a blocker and out of bounds and will be a point to Versailles. She picks up her first kill. And back to serve for them is their libero. This is Brooke Briscoe. Brooke is a junior at 5'4". This is Gels, Corey Gels, the junior hitter. That shot was taken by Haley Porter. Here comes Gels again, this time with a two-handed push. Bomb Holt. Dumped over by Whirling, and they get a point out of it. Well, Bomb Holt was there for it, and she timed it well, but uh, just couldn't keep it, uh, just couldn't prevent it from coming over. This will be Lizzie Snyder, a junior, who will enter. She wears number 13. Back to serve is the setter, Lydia Whirling. Here comes Gels. Powers off a of blocker and gets a point. Part of the reason that uh, Chloe gets so many kills, she has a great spike approach. She's got good long stride, puts a lot of effort into that. Young players can watch these girls, watch their spike approach. That's just so important. What do we got? Somebody in the net? We do. I think it was number eight, Kirsten Baumholt was in the net, makes it 4-2. And she's in the back. No, she is in the front row. This is her last front row rotation. Trying to read numbers here from our officiating crew. Whirling serves for the third time. That will be short. And it goes to 4-3 in favor of St. Henry. And that will allow Tori Tayo to enter. She's a 5'10 junior. And Kirsten Baumholt will serve. Senior at 5'9. And it's long. So each team has missed a serve. Chloe Gels to serve. And entering the game at this point is uh, Mia Niekamp, six foot senior. This is set for number five, that's Haley Porter. This is going to be set for Niekamp, who just entered, and she powers one down. That's a pretty good angle right there, Chris. That wasn't deep. That was in front of the 10-foot line. That hit right there. Yeah, that's hard to that's hard to block, and there's nobody there to dig it. There's Chloe Gels. And Chloe Gels is going to get an ace. Well, the points are coming pretty quickly. I happened to walk by Chloe in the hallway. She is the tallest 5'10 girl I've seen. <laughs> And there's a good serve from Chloe. Ball's blocked. And we're going to get a legal contact. 8-3, St. Henry off to an early lead. Four consecutive points. Seven out of the last eight have gone to St. Henry. What a good serve. Willing's going to set. That ball was set to Maya on top. And decided to fall on, fell on St. Henry's side, didn't it? I couldn't, you know, I know it did because of the reaction, but yeah. I could not actually tell from just looking at it which side that ball landed on. Haley Porter to serve, 5'6", senior. Good serve from her. And it's going to be a little bit short. Well, they yeah. girls ran into each other, but you know it's better for two people to be there and make a mistake than to both of them just stand there and let the ball hit the floor. It was Busher and Van Niekamp who collided a bit, couldn't cleanly get the ball over. The ball's put into the net and short. 9-5. Here comes uh, Mia Eversole into the game. She wears number 15. And back to serve will be Maya Ontrop. That 
wild ball was pushed across the net by Tori Tayo. And that ends up being a point for Versailles. And they bring in number 12, and that's Lexi Magato, who served very well in the second match of today. First one that we did here on WLSN. Both teams use nine yeah. or ten players. There's her first ace. Sales now scored four of the last five points to make it 9-7. That hit and kill goes to uh, Mr. Number, was it? That was, that was a knee camp. Was it? Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, so she picks up her second kill. Just trying to catch the yep. score of that. It would be nice if they had numbers on their shoulders, wouldn't it? On well, their upper sleeves. The good news is we're getting rid of those shadow numbers next year. Ah, uh, good. I think this is the last year that those numbers are legal. Ball's finally bumped over. And now there's knee camp and she missed the sideline. Yeah, those numbers are really hard to read, Mark, and you and I worked oh. uh, somewhere won't say where one yeah. time, but we were so far away, and I had to go down and just see the numbers up close. Yeah. Two, eight, six, five, they all looked alike, and yep. and they were small, and uh, yeah, I'll be glad when that happens. And of course, you're getting older. And, well, I'm definitely, you know, that, so. that's true. The ball was hit into the net and will be a point for Versailles. It's 10-9. They can climb back from a five-point deficit of 8-3. Served was by Tessa Stalin. Miguel from behind the 10-foot line. That's blocked. She's going to get a point out of it anyway. Well, we mentioned before the match that uh, she can be set anywhere on the court, front row, back row, doesn't matter. She's got two kills now. Lauren Teeman will enter. We've been through one service rotation, and Lauren's back in the match. Didn't hit that time by Baumholt. Here's Gels from the front row this time, and the ball stayed on her side of the net. I, I think they're going to question whether or not yeah, was it a ball block? was yes. uh, the okay, officials say that it was blocked. It was. Yep, we don't have our net cam today, so that would have, uh, that would have, uh, we could have had a replay. <laughs> if they're not dead, Versailles touching the ball would have been too many contacts for St. Henry, but it was blocked. There's the ball's tipped across. That's a point for the setter, Jim Briscoe. Jim Briscoe listed at 5'8. Nice to have a setter with some size up there where you can make plays like that one right there. Good backup. From behind the 10-foot line, that kill is going to go to Morgan Bomber. The three girls now have kills for each team. Rhea Busher to serve. Sophomore libero. Bomb hold off of two blockers. Dumped over by Whirling. Joust at the net. It's going to stay on Versailles' side. Bomb hold again. Gels hits it to an open spot, but that's a nice play in the back row. Here's Gels with some power this time, and she hits it wide. That's the longest rally so far. I noticed in there during that rally, a setter won a joust with a middle. Yeah, how that, about that? That will have, yeah. have to come up and practice on Monday. Yeah, one of them positively, one <laughs> yeah, of them negatively. Yeah. <laughs> Libero returns, Libero serve. Ball's pushed over the net, could be double contact, however. It's 13 12. Tessa Stammons had a good rotation this time that she's played for Coach Liz McNeilan. It's way to pass the bottom of the ball. Gels. 
Raymond making that play right there, but her teammates couldn't help her out. It's 14-12, St. Henry. Lizzie Snyder re-enters, six-foot junior. Lydia Whirling to serve. She's a 5-9 setter. Ooh, yeah, Kirsten Baum got a hold of that one. And I think that's her best swing of this match. She not not everybody can swing that hard from the right side, at least not all right-handers. And, and, yeah, she can hit it just as well from both sides. You, you know, an, somebody that's never played might not, we know what difference does it make, but there is a difference. Kristen served that one. Gell's out of the middle. And that goes through the libero. Chloe's third kill. Right through Brooke Briscoe, it's 15-13, and back and forth we go here in the middle part of this match. Gels. That's blocked. Shot was taken by Taylor Wagner, and then it goes long with that hit. 16-13, St. Henry. Redskins and Tigers, both MAC teams matching up here. And that one is out of bounds long. 16-14. That's the second miss serve for St. Henry. Of course, for sales has not been in the MAC nearly as long as St. Henry, but they have won two MAC championships. St. Henry, over the course of the conference, 29 MAC championships. Right back at you, long serve, 17-14. You know, the amazing thing, you know, you know, a lot of teams have stretches here and there where they can win conferences and, and dominate, but it's been this way from day one at St. Henry. The shot by Tori Tayo gets a point. It's her second kill. 17-15. Magato will serve. 5-6, one of the six seniors that play for Versailles. Whirling set from behind the 10-foot line. Gels gets a kill. Kill number four. Trading points right now. 25, Taylor Wagner comes in uh, back and then is replaced by the libero, Frisco. That ball's blocked. I think that was me and Niekamp got that one back. The lead goes to 14 to four now at 19-15. The biggest one was 8-3, St. Henry. A lot of people yelling out. Yeah. Might have been. I don't know. And that one was out. Yep. 2015. We're here on the Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard to serve. This will be a number three, Morgan Bomber, a freshman at 5'8". And her soft serve gets About a that. point. 21-15. Timeout coming for sales. Our timeout also. It's a six point lead for St. Henry. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Our premier sponsor today for this cold water spike off tournament has been Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. They were especially interested in how the Fort Laramie Redskins did today. They played three matches today, won all on this court. But right now, we're looking at St. Henry and Versailles. Last four points have gone St. Henry's way to stretch the lead out to 21-15 as Morgan Bomber serves. That kill with Tep was by, um, by Cassie Bomble. And in the process of the ball going long, 
for sales scores, and this will bring back in Tessa Stammen. She played really well her last trip through the rotation. She plays back row. Knee camp. Knee camp and jousted the net. And she carried that one. That ball rolled up. Was, yep. it, was there a foot used in that? Did I see a Versailles guru using her foot? I'd... Well, Brim Briscoe was right there. That, that was your setter again at the net. Good serve. That one's blocked at the net. Give that point to Kirsten Baum Holt. Here comes for sales, 21-18. That's what Trisha Rosenbeck saw, call, saw and she calls timeout. 21-18, right now, St. Henry, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Three-point run for sales has cut the lead in half. Each team has taken a timeout here in set number one. Ooh, nice serve. And a couple of different Versailles Tigers collide with each other. Cassie Baumholt, Kirsten Baumholt. Point goes to St. Henry with a miss hit ball between the two of them. And to serve will be Lauren Tiemann. Baumholt off the net. This is Gels. Just a tip. Attempt by Cassidy Baumholt at the net, but that doesn't come to fruition for her, so it's 23-18. Gels doesn't tip the ball very often, at least that yeah. we've seen today. Correct. So that was a nice time to do that, and she picked up her uh, fifth kill. Big hit and missing the back end is Cassie Baumholt. For sales calling Whoa. for a touch, but uh, no and one caught it. The f none of the four officials saw it, so we'll go with their call. Time out for sales. We're going to keep it right here at 24-18. And while we do that, we want to remind you that TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click Donate. Uh, donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW.com for sales. Second time out, trying to stave off set point. And Mark, any amount of donation uh, would be absolutely appreciated. Yep. Any amount. Lauren Tiemann will attempt to serve this one out. A couple last minute instructions from Coach Rosenbeck. For sales has used both of their timeouts. Tiemann serve off the net. They said bomb hold. That block. Good block at the net. I think Whirling got it. If she didn't, her teammate Leah Lefo did, and it's a 25-18 first set victory for St. Henry. Second set coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Premier sponsor today, sponsoring first of all the Fort Lauderdale Redskins, but also the Coldwater Tournament today is Reese Myring and Company CPAs helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Chris Lutho, how about stats from set number one? Well, with St. Henry, they had eight kills, led by Chloe Gells with five, two ace serves, and uh, uh, let's I don't have who those two are, and um, three blocks for points. For uh, Versailles, they had five kills, and um, bump. I can hardly read my right palm old head too. <laughs> it's a little dark and up here. Head too. It is dark up here. They had one ace, uh, no blocks, and two miss serves. So the stats did favor St. Henry a little bit. To set two, we're going to go here. Our scoreboard sponsor today is Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 
Important win in set number one for St. Henry. They at last won this tournament in 2019. They have won three of them prior today and finished uh, second four different times. For sales, this is the farthest they've gone in the tournament since 2018 when they lost in the finals to Ottawa Glandorf. They have never won the championship here as Brooke Briscoe serves that one. And hit long, it is. Good attempt by Leah Lafell, but it went long. And Versailles opens with the scoring here, as they did in set number one. Brisk going to serve again. And that one is out of bounds. Tied at one. Mark, we talked at the beginning about the six seniors versus two seniors, so I guess after one set, um, it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. You know, Chris, earlier today, uh, you mentioned the crowd that was here, and obviously some of the, the schools have gone home as their participants have left, and you cannot see the crowd here because of where our camera is located, but this crowd that we have remaining would rival a lot of high school games. It would, and considering neither team is playing in their home gym, so both of these schools are, you know, essentially playing away. Gels tips that one for a point. It's 2-1 St. Henry. That's her sixth kill. <laughs> official down official Steve Trout said the ball rolled out in the hallway and sent one of the young ladies here from Coldwater out to get it. There's a push to an open spot on the floor. That's going to be a point that will go for Versailles, and we're tied at two. Well, we had a little water on the floor out there in the hall, so when the ball goes out into the common yeah. area, it actually could come back a little damp. Had a downpour here about an hour ago, hour and a half ago here at Coldwater, and some of it came through the ceiling into the cafeteria area. That serve misses. That's a second miss serve already for uh, Versailles. Yeah, they've given up just uh, three points and two of them been on miss serves. Here's Rhea Busher to serve. Big hit out of the middle. That point will go to number 15, Mia Eversole. Tied at three. And happy Mia heads to the sideline as she gets replaced through the rotation. Overpass. Good play at the net, however. Here's Busher. Here's the set from Whirling. Gells just tips it to an open spot. Good play, however, by Briscoe. Here's Gels again. This time she hits it hard off of two blockers. That hit was by uh, Haley Porter. It's a good rally. Very good rally. Ooh, how about that hit that time? It came from Kirsten Bornholt. Bomb. Yeah, I'll get it right. Bombholt. Almost dug, but not uh, quite. Almost. For sales with their first lead. Up 4-3. That shot was taken by Maya Ontrop and gets a point to even it at four. It's her first, her first kill on this set. That brings in Lizzie Snyder playing the front row as Lydia Whirling goes back to serve. Blocked and blocked into the antenna. The hit came from Haley Porter, but was blocked into the antenna to put Versailles up 5-4. Or is that not correct? The scoreboard marked it up for St. Henry. Let's see what the... I thought that's what happened. I thought... I thought it was blocked into the net. Let's see how this... Well, it is Versailles' ball. So. I guess they were confused on what rotation they were in, maybe. Okay. And it is 5-4 Versailles. There's an ace. Chalk that one up to Lexi Magato. Lexi, a senior. And that's an ace. Got it inside the back line. 
for a three-point lead. That ball was a float serve, and it did take a dip right at the last minute. Those balls that don't spin um, are floating around, jumping left and right, up and down. So Busher, Busher passes yeah. that one. She played that one. Baumholt hits that one. Kirsten. Gellis from behind the 10-foot line. You know she's a front row player in this rotation. Baumholt, she goes through two blockers. She comes again. This time she tips it, but Whirling gets to it. The set from Busher and Gellis just has to bump it over. And then in the middle, trying to set up Haley Porter. And Porter, a little off balance, hit the ball into the net. St. Henry with five, Versailles with seven. Chloe Gells rotates to the back where she will serve. It's a third missed serve for St. Henry in the match. Tori Tayo enters. She will play front row. And with that, Kirsten Baumholt will go into the back row to serve. Whirling, sets up Decamp. Decamp's having a nice uh, uh, match against Versailles. That's her third kill, and she does have an ace serve also. They set her more often than they did in an earlier match. Mm -hmm. Earlier match, it seemed like Gell's got most every set. This time, spreading around a little bit more. Well, and part of that is how long you, st how long you stay in the front row. Sometimes yeah. you can just fly across that front row, and you're, you know, you're replaced by a back row player before you know it. Other times, um, you're getting a lot of points, or the other team's getting a lot of points, and you just stay in the front row a little bit longer. Maya Antrop chalks up an ace to cut the lead by Versailles to one. Tayo hits that one. Decamp just tips this one. He's going to get a point out of that one. So we're tied at eight. There's a little bit more tipping in this match. Sometimes when uh, you get to that third match of the day and uh, you just need a little bit higher set because you're a little bit worn out. So, of course, the balls aren't being set higher, so uh, your spike approach is just a little bit slower and your jump is just a little bit uh, lower. So the ball ends up being tipped. This ball's going to go to the back row, and a kill that will be chalked up by Kirsten Baumholt. Yeah, and everything I just said, you can just disregard when it comes <laughs> to Baumholt. Our structure out door Ohio scoreboard has Versailles up 9-8 as Haley Porter goes to service. Good serve. Nice job by Busher. And then Niekamp pops it up in the air and gets into the rack with nobody get to can kill. get to it. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you what, both of the setter and hitter need to go right over to Busher and say thanks for that one. That, that She made that possible. Lizzie Snyder turned to rotate out as Morgan Bomber enters to serve. Busher played that one. Here's Gels, spins it. Look at that curveball that came it, off of her that time. It did, yeah. St. Henry has come back from a deficit of three, which they were down three twice to take a 10-9 lead. They've scored five out of the last six points. Tipped over, that's a nice play by your setter. Good job, Bryn Briscoe. Ties it at 10. It's her second kill. Brooke Briscoe, the libero, will serve this ball. Good play at the net. Nice job up there by uh, Cassie Barnhart. Cassie puts her team up 11 to 10. That's her first kill. And I made a mistake because St. Henry got the point. Oh, what, was she in she the net? She must have been in the net. Yeah, and I was busy writing no. it down and missed the signal from our official. 
<clears throat> I was too. There's an ace. Make it 12-10. You were talking about the uh, head coach here at Versailles, how things have changed. Well, the head coach from Versailles last year, um, Kenzie Brueggemann, is now on the bench at St. Henry. A job opened up for her to teach at St. Henry, so she came back here as a teacher, and so she's a volunteer assistant on the bench. So she's uh, coaching uh, some new players for her and coaching against some players that she's coached in the past. Tessa Stammen will serve this one. And that's going to be an ace as it goes off a red shirt. And that's always a tough thing. You know, you, you really throw yourself in with one set of, of players and you just love them to death and vice versa. And then uh, something opens up where you can, uh, you know, maybe teach at, the, at, at this school where you grew up and you have to take it when it's there because it's a it might not open up. Yeah, how about that? Then Briscoe got up and got Chloe Gell shot and sent it right back across the net. Puts Versailles up by one on our structure out for Ohio scoreboard. That's the first block for this set. Stammen served that ball. This is hit by Baumann. She's the freshman. Tipped to the middle of the floor. The libero will set this one. Here's Gells to the same libero. Briscoe on the other side. It's going to be Gels again. And again, the libero Briscoe plays it. We'll see if she goes down line next oh, time. Oh, and a big oh, hit. Boy. How about that one that came off the arm of Kirsten Baumholt? Yeah, I was about to say, we'll see if she goes down line next time. They, they're digging her across yeah, court. good. And St. Henry, with a two-point deficit, takes a timeout. Back after this, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Premier sponsor today is Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Versailles on a four-point run has taken a two-point lead. Tessa Stammen will serve. Get those little kids off the court. <laughs> so he yells. I hope our camera can see that. Or the folks at home are wondering what I'm talking about. Yells put it in the back of the court for Versailles. They couldn't get it over. So coming out of timeout, St. Henry scores. Here's Leah Busher, just a sophomore. That's blocking that. I think Cassie Baum Holt got up and got that one. She's had a, a, a much more effective set and a half today than she did in the opening match today we saw her play. Well, she gets her hands on a lot of balls. This is only the second block for a point for uh, Versailles. But but just getting your hand on it is is, uh, is effective. We just don't have a stat for it. Busher had to dive to make that play from a libero position. And that ball's blocked right back at you by Maya Antwop. It's a fourth block for St. Henry. Pretty high quality volleyball for the opening match of the season, Chris. It is, I think, yeah. And of course they'll meet again. Lydia Whirling serves. Ace for Lydia. We're tied at 15. So for ace, first ace. It's, it's one thing when the, you're there to play it and you just shank it. I mean, that happens to everybody, but you can't let the ball hit the floor. Whirling serves there, again. There, now there's a good pass. And that ball is contacted illegally. It's 16-15 St. Henry. Actually, she contacted it at, uh, above the plane of the net. Now she's trying to pull that back and, and just wasn't it, able to yeah, do it. Yeah, wasn't able to do it, yep. Whirling, who has served two points. Floats this serve in. Good play by Briscoe. And you know it fell in. Wasn't sure whether it was going to hit the sideline or not, and it did so. That's Kirsten's five, uh, fifth kill in this uh, set, seventh overall. 16 all. Any part of the ball hits any part of the line, it's in. Yep. It's on the far side of the court from our camera, so we'll trust the line judge on that one. 
Gels out of the middle of the court. Somebody with oh, the ball was in the net, I guess. Not a player. Bob Holt gets him sent back. Tip. Here comes Gels. The setter hits it. Briscoe. Big hit that time by Snyder. Kirsten Baumholt. Holt. Good coverage. Gels. What a play in the back row. Goodness, what a play that time by Sessa Stallman. And then finally a kill. That will be chalked up to Lizzie Snyder. What a great point that was. A nice set there from Worley to set that back to her. First back set of the of our uh, match. Good time for it. 17-16 St. Henry on a wonderfully played point by both sides. Gels to serve. Me and Niekamp entered. Long hold. And the ball gets misplayed at the net. St. Henry scored two in a row to make it 18-16. That spin on that ball made it pretty difficult to handle. Gels to serve again. Off the net, had to be played. Stammen. Oh, that's shot by Baumholt. And then a kill at the end. Kind of softly played, but a point nevertheless. I'm not sure who got that. Did, uh, I think that might have been Wagner. I think she got that. She was in the middle of that. I think I was in the middle of four. I think that would be correct. Well, it's written down in my paper, yeah. so she got <laughs> it. It is correct. Kirsten Baumholt, who made a really nice play to keep that ball in play just a moment ago, will be in service. 5'9", senior. Ace. And we're tied at 18. It's our first ace in this match. Second set, the largest lead was 8-5 Versailles. It's been a very tightly played second set. And that's another ace. Almost a, an identical spot. Nineteen eighteen Versailles trying to take it to set three. Nice serve. There's another ace. Twenty eighteen, and we're going to get a St. Henry timeout. Their first timeout here in set number two. Back in a moment. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard today is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. The Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out, and I was in air. That's the second St. Henry timeout. They also call one at 12-14, so they are out of timeouts. Briscoe sets. A shot by Tayo goes off a blocker and out of bounds. Point for sales. Tayo really compliments uh, Baumholt really well. She uh, tires the other left side hitter when uh, Baumholt's in the back row. She's got four kills now. Baumholt will serve. And that one goes long. 19 for St. Henry, 21 for Versailles. To serve will be Maya Antrop. Bob Holt from the back row comes up short this time into the net. Allows Ontrop to serve a second time. That's an ace. We're tied at 21. Well, um, set to four. First team to four wins, although we could have extra points. Yep. The way this match is going, and I'd count on that. Yep. My Antrop again. Serves to the same spot. Why not? Shot was taken by Haley Porter. This is Kneecamp. 
Baumholt from the back row. Worley tries to play it off the net and can't. The point goes to Versailles and they take a one point lead. To serve will be Haley Porter, 5'6 senior. And that goes right oh. off of Busher. Had some serious movement to it. It did. Two point Versailles lead. Porter's first ace. And long. Missed the back line with that one. Takes a little bit of courage to let that one it go. It does, yeah. <laughs> Good help from your bench, maybe. Yeah, so yeah, they're supposed the to be yelling. Yep, yep, supposed yep. to. It's either minor or out. Morgan Bomber. Or play it, or play it, depending. Morgan but, Bomber yeah, but will serve. Dumped over, and a play by the setter, Briscoe. Versailles a point away to going to set three. That's her third kill. And at least two of them were that identical play. I can't remember the third one. Structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard says Versailles 24, St. Henry 22. Whirling tips it over. Here's the set. And they pound it away and they score. I believe that was Cassie Baumholt. It's a 25-22 second set win for Versailles. And the 13th annual Coldwater Spike Off Classic will go to set three for the championship match. Coming up next, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Championship here at the Coldwater Spike Off Classic will be decided in set three. St. Henry won the opening set 25-18. Versailles comes back 25-22. How about stat numbers, Chris? Well, Versailles, 14 kills. Six of them from Kirsten Baumholt. Six ace serves. Three of them from Kirsten Baumholt. Um, two blocks, four missed serves for St. Henry. They end up with seven kills, four aces. Three of those kills were from Mia uh, Niekamp. One block and one missed serve. We go to set three. We mentioned earlier in our telecast today, thanks to COVID, we no longer switch sides in our gymnasium. So we're going to continue with St. Henry on the left part of your screen and Versailles on the right. I want to remind you that we're in season 18 of the Sports Report. Started last night at 10 p.m. on WTLW. You can join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around. That will be all season long every Friday night at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Highlights from so many games. Oh, he tries to get to 18. Sometimes wow. the schedule allows more, sometimes less, but at least uh, they make that effort. There's a block at the net, but the point fell on the side of Versailles on the kill by uh, my, Mia Niekamp. She now has six kills. So St. Henry takes a 1-0 lead in set three. Reese Meyer and Company CPAs are our premier sponsor today. Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts has been our scoreboard sponsor. This is Tayo, and she hit long. 2-0 St. Henry. I didn't keep track of Chris counting here and on the other uh, gym, part of the gym, the other court here in court B, but uh, Chris, we have had a whole bunch of three set matches today and just proves how competitive this tournament is. That kills a point. That's going to go to Cassie Baumholt. That's just her second kill in this set, uh, this match. First for the set. Cassie's a 5'6 junior. Well, when you have the previous year's state champion mm. playing in the <laughs> in the match where both teams are 0-2, that says something about the competition right there. You can see that uh, Morgan Bomber slipped on the court as she tried to play the serve by Tessa Stammen. Well, there's been quite a bit of moisture on the floor today. You can see they're out working on it right now. That towel's probably saturated. Yeah. Look at that pass. That hit's going to be a kill chalked up to Leah Lefeld. 3-2 St. Henry. That's her first kill in this match. 
Rhea Busher will serve. And this serve makes it uh, tied at three. Talk about uh, that towel being a little bit humid. It was pretty humid in the press box last night at Marion Loco and a lot of other places. It was, yeah. If you were happened to be on the side of the gym, uh, field where you sat opposite the sun, <laughs> kind of an un unhealthy evening for a while. Set by Briscoe. Joust is going to take place. Pounded at the net. Versailles wins to Joust and takes a 4-3 lead. The setter, Bryn Briscoe, to set serve this one. Off the net. Going to be an ace. Well, even though the ball just barely skims the net, it does change the trajectory, and it makes it very difficult to pass. We've seen some good passes off net serves today. It changes direction and changes speed, both of which can cause you problems trying to play it. So Gels. She now has eight kills, but just the third since the first set. Olivia Whirling. Like her counterpart Briscoe a moment ago will be the setter in service. Bomhold hit that one, play the net, and then goes off the net and all the way out of bounds. So the point goes to St. Henry, and we're tied at five. Whirling again. Shot was taken by Porter. This one's going to be Gels. Oh, what a nice play in the back row by the libero, Brooke Briscoe. Ball's tipped across the net that time by Lizzie Snyder. Whirling's going to set again to Gels. There's a kill. Another good point between these two schools, but it gives St. Henry a 6-5 lead. Well, I'd say there's no sign of fatigue out there at all. Now, if you'd ask them, they might <laughs> no. say differently, but uh, if, if that's the case, they're masking it very well. Good form on that pass. Oh, what a big hit. I think I've said that before today, Kirsten Baumholt. Well, she got nine kills in this set. We're tied at six. When mom says, can you do the dishes or help fold laundry tonight? Yeah, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> but not until then. Yep. Good serve. That's going to be an ace. Chalk it up to Lexi Magato. That's ace number four for her in this set. She had several earlier today in the match we did in the semis. It's not served particularly hard, but it appears to float around pretty good. Go. Kill number three in set three. You know, you talked about in basketball, Chris, you go to your lead guy when you need a basket, and in this game, they're going to Gels, and they're, they're going to Baumholt. And why not? Yep, here's Gels to serve. What a hit that was. Got that thing going sideways over there. Kirsten Baumholt. I don't know how that ball got there. I don't either, but it did. Eight seven for sales. Baumholt serves. Rolling gets it up front to knee camp. Baumholt saves it, but not well enough. The tied at eight. And knee camp has seven kills. Maya Ontrop will serve this ball. As we talked about earlier, Versailles really crowds the net with service return. Tayo off a hitter, off a blocker. 
And Gels in the back row, left a little short, hit the tape. For sales, gets the point. Haley Porter to serve. Goes long, tied at nine. That is the seventh miss serve for Versailles. Volleyball on Saturday and airs, of course, on Sunday evening if you're watching this for the first time. Tuesday night, Chris and I will be in Lipsick for an annual uh, kind of a Putnam County League matchup between Lipsick and Ottawa Glandorf, two of the top programs in Northwest Ohio. That ball misses. That will end error, error off for the first time on Wednesday evening. <laughs> Might have gone long, but it's played in the back row. Baumholt goes through two blockers and scores. She has 11 kills now in this match. We're in set number three. Have, you, have we gone all the way around yet or not? Have we, are we, have we started our second? I think we have. Knee camp. Briscoe traces it down. Tayo tipped it outside the antenna. So the point goes to St. Henry at 11-10. Lauren Tiemann enters. She plays the back row and me and knee camp plays the front row. <laughs> Teaming with a good serve. Played across by Cassie Baumholt. And then a good play at the net. We have somebody in there. We have a Versailles Tiger in the net, so it's not going to matter anyway. That was a good spot to tip that. Nobody was over there. The girls yep. had drifted. The Versailles girls had drifted a little bit toward the middle of the court, so that spot was open. That was Gels who tipped it, but it didn't matter because the ball was, it was a Versailles player in the net. Then we get a net serve. So it's 12-11 St. Henry. Miss number five for the Redskins. Tessa Stammen enters. She will be the server. Gels missed the sideline. We're tied at 12. Two and a half sets, all even. All even. Neither team has scored more than three consecutive points in this third set. That shot will end up being a point for St. Henry, and they will go back to a 13-12 lead. Layfeld second kill. Rhea Busher. Left-handed serve. Tipped across by Briscoe. Tipped across by Whirling. Each setter getting a play at it. And then the ball's played in the back, hit by Bomber. There's a good play, running it down by Bomber. And St. Henry keeps it alive. Bomhold again. This time she gets a kill and a point. They didn't keep that one alive. Kill number four in this set for her. When the ball is putting dents in the floor, you're probably not keeping it alive. Yeah. Back to serve, the setter, Bryn Briscoe. Shot was taken by Ontrop. And then Bomber hit, uh, Bomber hit that one for a point. A little bit off speed. Now she's got uh, 13 kills. One point for Sales lead. No timeouts yet from either team in this set. Gels goes through a blocker this time. Frisco sets. That was Porter's attempt. And then Gels again. And then a kill in the middle. That's Cassie Baumholt. That's her third kill. That was hit pretty hard. That was a nice play. It was really the only place the ball could be set. And there's our first time out. St. Henry trails by two. 15-13. They're taking a break. We are too. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.
Scoreboard today is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. For sales, scored three consecutive points. They've taken a 15-13 lead. And they still have Bryn Briscoe in service. Gels out of the middle, kept alive, however. There's Baumholt. Oh, what a nice play in the back row by Busher to keep it alive. And then a kill by Cassie Baumholt. She's come alive in this set. Well, she's got three kills in this set. Yeah, four overall. And we need a ball. Both of them are on the other side of the court right now. <laughs> Where's the three ball system when we need it? Yeah. Well, one of them is sitting on Eric Goodwin's chair over there. Yeah. <laughs> so, three-point lead, Versailles. Gels. What a diving play in the back row. Stammen made that one. Here's a tip by Whirling. Cassie Baumholt. And it cannot hit the ceiling and go over. Cassie makes another big play. Well, it might have been outside the antenna anyway. Yeah, once the ball hits the ceiling, it's 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 got to hit the ceiling on your own side, right. and you have to have a play left. So who goes and gets the spare ball? Assistant coach here at <laughs> Coldwater, Mike Etzler. That's why they run a great tournament here. Good play in the front row by Porter to save that one. And this time it's Kirsten Baumholt who hammers the ball for a point. Versailles now on a six-point run. They've taken a five-point lead. The Baumholt girls have all the kills for yep. Versailles in this set. And here comes the next St. Henry timeout. They burned both of them. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, and WSN is a part of that celebration. Would you donate $40 to thank you for 40 years of local broadcasting in this region? Donate online at WTLW.com backslash donate. I'll call 419-339-4444. Ace, nope, put it long. That was close. So coming out of the timeout, St. Henry was able to score. They've given up a bunch of points in a row, but they've cut that now to lead to 18-14. There's an ace. Chalk that one up to Lauren Tiemann. 18-15. That's a quick sale. two points. So Henry has not scored more than three consecutive points in this match. They've got two heading for three right here if they can get it. And, oh, what a play back there by Stammen. Nice. How about that? Here's Gels off a blocker. Another good play. <laughs> well... Of course, Liz McNeilan played that one, but she didn't have any eligibility left. 18-16. <laughs> and now we're going to get a Versailles timeout. We're going to keep this one right here. Mark Labor Day on your calendar, the second annual LifeWise 5K presented by Tom All Family of Dealerships. The race begins at Sunnydale House, where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. We have more to celebrate as the launch of academies in Allen East and Spencerville take place in September. To sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. Well, they got it to 18-16, making a run, Chris. Well, and they had uh, three in a row there, two aces and a missed serve. So they really didn't have to do a whole lot to get those three points. They came out of the previous timeout trailing 15-13. It went to 18-13 before they were able to call a second timeout, but now three consecutive points. And serving once again, Whirling will serve this one. Bomb hold and gets another point. That's who you go to when you need one. Boy, and that spot over there inside the spiking line, how, she's gone over there several times. That's such a it, tough hit. It's a very difficult angle to get to, isn't it? Seventh kill on this set. To serve, Lexi Magato, who has served extremely well today. Her team leads by three, and then she puts it into the net. 19-17. Well, she's had four aces in this mm. set. Cassie Baumholt will re-enter. Yeah. 
Charlie Gels, who's now rotated to the back row and will serve. Set by Briscoe. That ball's blocked. Point will go to St. Henry. It's 18-19. Versailles does have a timeout left. St. Henry does not. Well, you wonder if Gels will get back in the front row even in this set. You'll see she's just serving now, so we'll have to rotate three times. The ball's bumped over by Whirling. Briscoe sets. Another good play by Busher. Yells from behind the 10-foot line. Bombold's going to get this hit. Wow. A couple of good plays. They keep it alive. Does it get over? How about that play? Well, it takes a whole team, and then Neekamp puts it away for her seventh kill. Did she ever? Mia Neekamp ties it at 19. So we've got a discussion going on about whether it was a, an extra hit in there or not. It was not. So we're tied at 19. Gell serves again. And Versailles keeps it alive. St. Henry is about to celebrate. But they come back with a point. Is that Liz Snyder? It yes, is. it was. Yep. Lizzie Snyder hit that one yep. in. St. Henry's come all the way back to take a 20-19 lead. She's had two very key kills this afternoon. Kells to serve again. And we're tied at 20. That's the sixth miss serve for St. Henry. Well, now we're playing to five. Win by two. Noise level's really yeah. picked up in the yeah, gym. Yeah, as Kirsten Baumholt will rotate to the back row, so she serves this ball. Whirling sets. Decamp tips. Kells from behind the 10-foot line. Good play in the back row by Briscoe. And that's hit long. Is it touched? It is. Versailles will get the point on the touch. It's Tayo's fifth kill. 21-20 Versailles. What? Kirsten Baumholt. Whirling sets. Snyder gets another kill. We're tied at 21. Lizzie Snyder out of the right side of the formation gets a couple of points at the key times here. My Entrop will serve. Tied at 21. Shot was taken by Porter. Whirling keeps it alive. It's tipped. Tayo keeps it alive. Knee cam. Ball's blocked at the net. I think that was Porter got it, I think. She was there along with Taylor Wagner. And Versailles has taken a one-point lead. My Eversoul serves this time. Tipped by Leifeld. Good job by Briscoe. And a kill. That one will go to Taylor Wagner. She hits the ball through a blocker. It's a two-point Versailles lead. Versailles has never won the cold water spike off. They finished second back in 2018, trying to win it for the first time. And the serve sails out of bounds. Miss serve number 10. 22-23 in favor of Versailles. Morgan Bomber will serve. Good serve. Tayo tip. Good save. Bomber saved that one. Finally, Rhea Busher plays it over. Busher makes another play. Here's Gells. Bomber, Bombo from behind the 10 foot line. It went long and we're tied at 23. 
Would you have expected a difference from all the well, ball we've seen today? I know. It. Tied at 20, tied at 21, tied at 23. Here's Bomber to serve again. That's a big hit by Tayo. Puts your team up set point, match point. Well, there's six kill. And who gets to serve? Looks like Brooke Briscoe will serve this one. For sales, trying to get a championship. Sometimes point 25 is the hardest one to get. Yeah. Knee camp. St. Henry stays alive. We're tied at 24. Here comes Teeman back in the game. She will be the server. Three sets, and we're going to go extra volleyball because it's tied at 24. Got to win by two. Somebody yelled out. Here's the set. Here's Gels. Chloe Gels. And now it's St. Henry a point away from a championship. Bomber serves. Tip. Point. Kirsten Baumholt with the point, 25 all. And that's her eighth kill in the set, 16th overall. I watched Liz McNeil and she was directing her set, and I think she just said wherever yeah. Kirsten is, get her the ball. Well, now she's in the front row. She'll have three, three rotations in the front row. And, of course, Gales is back in the front row, too. Tessa Stammen, who has played well today in the back row. That ball's played over the net. There's a point for Versailles. Overpass gets him a point. And now they lead by one. Stammen to serve. Short. Tied at 26. You know what that is? Nerve. It's one of the seven. Oh, well, I should have thought. Yeah, in overtime, you don't throw the ball into the net. That's, 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 okay, yep. so we've got three of the seven in today. Yeah. Here's Busher to serve, tied at 26. Whoa. That was hit right down. Yeah. Jeez. Kirsten Baumholt unloaded on that one. And here's Versailles with once again a chance to win this one. They were at 24-23. They were at 26-25. Now it's 27-26. Gels tips. Oh, oh, and she missed it. And Versailles wins the Coldwater Spike Off Championship. A wonderful display of volleyball in the final set. Versailles with a 28 26 win to win the 13th annual Coldwater Spike Off. We've got post game coming up right after this. You've been watching high school volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Coldwater. The 13th annual Coldwater Spike Off has gone to the Versailles Tigers. You can see them accepting their trophy from Eric Goodwin. A very thrilling match. It was 25-18, 25-22, and then 28-26 in the finals. Chris Luthold, you've got some stat numbers. We do. Versailles, 34 kills, led by Kirsten Baumholt, with half of those a 17-9 in set number three. They had 10 ace serves. Four by Lexi Magato, and they ended up with uh, 10 miss serves as well. But they serve tough all day, and when you serve tough, you're going to get aces and you're going to get kill uh, and you're going to get uh, some misses. Uh, for St. Henry, they ended up with 28 kills, seven aces. Uh, the kills led by Chloe Gales with 12, five in set three, and followed up by Mia Niekamp with nine. Thank you for keeping your stat numbers today, Chris, and all of your observations and analysis that you provided. I want to thank our sponsors today. That would be Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt 
and Reese Myring and Company CPAs. We want to thank the athletic director here, Mr. Eric Goodwin. We've had eight plus hours of volleyball in this gym today, Chris. It began at nine o'clock. It's after five right now. We want to thank our crew as well. That's Jacob O'Neill who did all the video for us today, put the audio together, and Nick Freire is going to edit this back at the station. Versailles wins their very first Coldwater Spike Off. They lost the first set 25-18, then they won 25-22, and the thrilling third set 28-26. From Coldwater, you've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.